podcast debate. Uh, Mr. Medicare, what's going on, man? Oh, I'm, I'm having a good evening. I hope you're all doing sumptuous. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's been quite the sumptuous evening, I have to say. Um, okay, so are we ready to... Leaving that to the side for now, are we ready to patch everything in, Gator? Is that is it ready now, or...? Uh, once he unmutes it in here, I think it'll be fine. Okay, I think... Okay, Gator's here now. So... Okay. Now, now is it? Does it work? Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes we can. It works. Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Cool. Everything's fine. All right. Cool. Oh. How, how you so doing there? It, how you doing there, Fake Ross? Oh, uh, so it's the Internet Aristocrat himself. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I just I, I wanted to ask you questions about your good friend David. I mean, we're not good friends. I mean, like I. Well, he was. He must be a good friend. He invited you into crowd. I, mean, I, like, I don't. I, like I don't. Like I don't uh, like I don't like like how like how big of an ego do you have to be to like call yourself the Internet Aristocrat? It's based off a Gilbert Godfrey joke, which is about the most terrible shit you put in between an opening and an ending. It has nothing to do with aristocracy. It's a a reference to horrendous shit, which is what I cover. Usually, furry degenerates or probably people like yourself, incels, virgins with rage, that kind of stuff. Are you there, Big yeah. Ross? Can you hear yeah, me? Like, here's the thing, like, I, I, you, you, you are basically like you act. You, you can have this. Oh, I don't give a fuck about anything a- attitude. Yeah, you clearly do care. I mean, you started fucking Gamergate. Well, you know, I mean, I guess if we talk about you know, like comparing causes to believe in, uh, I, I think you could teach me lessons because I haven't threatened to shoot up political gatherings yet. But you and your, but oh, was that a joke? So I'm curious. When your good friend David invited you into Kraut's Discord server, but then disavowed and said he had no relationship with you, and when your good friend David said he doesn't associate and like there's a little division between him and Kraut, was that an entire lie? Why are they hanging out with violent extremists such as yourself that threaten to kill people for their political beliefs? I mean, they had a target list, right? They called it a target list, and here you are hanging out with them, threatening to kill people. So what what is that target list exactly about? I mean, could your good friend David explain a little more? It was just it was just like re research like, like watch alt right videos and then like point out like the stupid shit they say. Yeah, you know, like get background information on them, maybe find out where they live, make it easier to hunt them down for you, kind of thing. No, I mean, do you dox people or not, Super Guy? I mean, like I never even. What? Have you? Do you dox people with a uh, no. uh, shit rat? No. No. no? Dude, pinky promise? You, you're not lying. Oh, was that only? No, no. Was that only something? You know, you the, the only reason why we came into I came into that chat because we we're talking about how Tim Pool has you know how there were how his connections to you know all the alt writers like he was in a photo with people who marched in the Unite the Right rally. Well, how many times have you been uh, hung out with uh, David and Kraut together in Discord? Like, well, no, no, I never. Then David was never in the voice chat. It was just well, Kraut he said he invited you in. Yeah. So if David's not in the call, why would he invite you into Kraut's Discord? How does that make sense? Take your time. <laughs> why are you scared of? Why are you scared of H Bomber guy? I'm I'm not. H Bomber guy's a wonderful individual. We watch Naruto you born together. I love him. <laughs> you get, you get, you get PTSD whenever his name is brought up. I, I seem to be doing just fine now. I mean, there's no gaps in you know my speech. I'm not going dead silent like when I ask you about threatening to kill people and hanging out with Kraut and shit rat and making an alt right target list. See, that's the silence I'm talking about. You hear that? Like, Frick, you, you, you like contribute, like, like, oh, okay. Am, am I, am, I'm okay. I'm making a book about. I'm, I'm writing a book about internet culture, and like, you're kind of contributing to like the toxic en- environment. So toxic you know, like, environment. You threaten to kill people because you disagree with their politics. You fucking sped. Can you name some of those people on this list that you're doing investigative research on? This was like, dude. I wasn't even involved. This was like eight months ago. I wasn't even involved with that. 
Is Sherrod helping you with the with the uh, text on this, or <laughs> is he is he co-writing your book? Is he a ghostwriter on it? Is it called Why <laughs> I Killed Them? <laughs> is that gonna be the name of your book? He's just he's just a guy that I follow on Twitter. We don't we're not like best friends or anything. And he invites you into his Discord. Your non best friend, the guy you kind of maybe sort of know, inviting you into other people's Discords, but you don't so, really so talk to any, him. So any so anyone who anyone who you invite to your Discord is you automatically. I, your I don't friend. use Discord. I'm heterosexual. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what what's the correlation between using a messenger service and your sexual orientation? Well, take a look at yourself and then ask yourself, what are you using? And there you go. Just, just why do you have this attitude about? Oh, I you pretend not to give a fuck about anything, even though like, like, like it's just this, like you're you're like you're like the manifestation of that. Oh, hello, fellow kids. Like that's basically you. Well, I mean, that's some sick hot banter. I mean, that that that's good. I, that's kind of like a skeptic angle, but I've dealt with that. The last guy that used that on me uh, ran away from his weekly programming and quit politics. You might want to choose a different vector for attack. You you, find you, you clearly have a bias. Uh, bias in favor of the right wing. I, I've never hit the fact that I'm right leaning in my politics. I mean, like, why haven't you made a video on the alt right? There's a lot of cringy stuff to cover there. Why, why would I ever do something to satisfy somebody who's as retarded as you? Hey, why, 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 why do the stuff you do then? You're obviously satisfying an audience that wants to see cringy stuff on the internet. So why well, not I, do I, something I like on the alt right? I, I like to annoy people. I mean, that that's part of the enjoyment I get out of it. And I've noticed that so, people like. like People like you and shit rat and crowd get really fucking mad when I ignore the things that you want me to talk about. Maybe if you idiots had you know, pressed your your cocks up against my back and kept begging for a JF video and doing dumb shit like that and harping on it daily for months. we I mean, you, you've created a new term. I mean, you get that, right? It's not troll shielding. You, it's like troll trenching. I, I don't know. Somebody's going to troll moating or whatever they called it. You beg so much for these people to be a target. You've made them basically bulletproof jf could go out he, tomorrow he was, and rape retarded toddlers and i wouldn't do a video on him because you've turned me off from ever ever considering it like okay okay i okay i don't want to make a moral argument but think about the effect that it would have if you make a video on the alt right like what I, would like, the effect be like people people uh, like okay it's no secret that your, your audience is pretty in favor of the alt right so and you say you want to cre create controversy. So wouldn't it be well, wouldn't you want to see the effect it has within your audience if you make a video on the alt right? Wouldn't you want to intentionally piss off your own audience by by fucking with people that they're like, like? No, because Jim makes him seem, seem like oh he doesn't pander to anyone. So if he truly believed that, it w would he be willing to make a video making fun of the alt right? You know the weird thing is like you bring up why don't you target that? But there's been a lot of shit that I haven't covered that would be right up my alley that I just never got around to or other people covered it or I fucking just ignored and moved on to other shit. I mean, look at the situation with Encyclopedia Dramatica and the fucking the owner, you know, the second go around with that shit. That would have been a perfect video. That would have been something you'd expect me to cover. But no, I, wait, I he's back in jail. You, you saw that, right? He, he's back in yeah, jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been keeping yeah. off and on okay. with it and stuff, okay. but it's really weird. Like you, you're you're treating me like I'm some kind of network programming, and you're wondering why I'm not showing the shit in prime time that you want to watch. You're not my fucking audience. We're not similar. We have different senses of humor. I'm not trying to appease somebody like you. You're a retard, and your friends are retards. And I, I don't want to do anything that would make you guys happy. I, does that make sense to you? Just think of it. Was that a thought? Was that words? What was that? Did he have a fucking fit? What was that? People like people hold you like it's no secret. Like most of your audience is underage, so they're highly impressionable. So oh, you, uh, the majority. I, I did a poll. Yeah, the majority are at least eight years old to eleven years old. Ninety percent of them. Eight okay, to, okay, I refuse eight to, to eleven years I refuse, old. I refuse to believe that the majority of your audience are uh, are not underage. Oh I'm no, seven. they're all they're all preteens. Yeah, no, it's a preteen. It's a preteen army that I've been raising. Jim came to my preschool. I did. I recruited him right out of it. He showed me his channel, and here I am. Where, where do you think he got the nickname Negro Joe? He used to be Billy. Okay, so like we're so 
Like there needs to be momentum built against the alt right. So if you make a video like attacking them, that that'll, what, that'll, what, that'll what, what what are you talking about? Why would a guy that does videos, namely you know, like mainly focused on laughing at people doing retarded shit or disgusting shit? Why would I need to build momentum against the alt right? Why would the guy that does videos on diaper furs need to do a video on the alt right? You started an entire movement from a one hour video. Like you're talking about Gamergate. That was Monday, Matt. I think we've all come to the conclusion. I mean, like he's taking credit for that. Let's lay that title at his feet. He started Gamergate. If you remember, I left after three months. I'd said they're all a bunch of faggots and I quit. Do you remember that, Ross? Or Ross, you there? And it had less to do with the politics and more to do with people fucking with video games. Like, if it, if it was you know, the there, fucking there, Republican... There, there was genuine harassment coming from the gamer games. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. No, no, like the... Like, there was this one girl who, who, made, who made a who made a tongue, uh, who made a post mildly cr- cr- mi- just mildly critical of gamer again and she got bar- barrages of her death threats and rape threats oh well you know so, i mean life life is like that sometimes I, you realize you're in a fucking call right with the, the guy that runs kiwi farms and ethan like have you seen the shit those two have gotten i i haven't heard them threatening to jump off a rooftop because of it Yeah, I've gotten quite okay, a bit like, that, negative. That, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean like that kind of be so that automatically makes that kind of behavior acceptable. Yes. Just because just because I, so, just I'll because be the first to say it. I deserve all the shit I get and much more. You can handle it. It's it's okay. If you people put yourself out there you and you get shit, that's, that's what happens. Thing, like, a, lot, a lot of a lot of marginalized people who who, who marginalized like, how? How, how do you know the girl that wrote that post was even a a girl? If we're talking about Gamergate, let's talk about the fact that there were like, what, nine or ten guys running around pretending to be chicks to get nudes and shit on both sides. So how do you know, A, that was a girl? Two, how do you no, know no, they were no. marginalized? Even, right? Even, oh, no, even, even, uh, even, uh, even, uh, even, uh, even, uh, even uh, then. Who was it? What was their name? Let, okay, let, let's say, let's say, a post mild, a, a post mildly critical of Gamergate, like the reaction was still real. What do you mean the reaction? I'm saying, how do you know it wasn't somebody stirring shit up? No, no, no I'm, not, I'm just talking about in general, like on the internet, the way we treat each other on the internet. It's just terrible. The real reaction to the fake person is what you want to protect fake people from? No, no, it's just like, okay, no, okay, no, I'm, I'm, we're, I've, I've moved on to that. Right now I'm talking about, the, like, in, in a general sense, how we treat each other on the internet. It's just terrible. Who cares? Plus, you're not the best messenger for this, are you, Ross? That's what... Yeah, like no thing. Like okay, people, like marginalized people, would be rejected from society. Like the internet is their only. So <laughs> far, <laughs> this isn't the handmade tale, dude. What are you talking about? Marginalized people are being rejected from society. I mean, that sounds like a great talking point. Some sociologist in fucking your intro class told you, and now you're parroting it like it has some fucking meaning. But what do you what do you mean marginalized? Who's getting marginalized? Who's getting attacked? Okay, How? Okay, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Do transgender people face? Uh, face problems that you won't face yeah because they choose to chop their dicks off and call themselves susan they right. were always they were always they do they were always well, females <laughs> were they, was it a feminine <laughs> was it? It could win. we had this conversation in voip before before we got on there and he has a friend that is transgender and he takes particular issue with the number of transgender threads that we have on the on the forum uh, ross can you explain to me how it is somebody like iron liz right seems just fine with banter can handle it just fine can take a heap of shit and deal with it with no issue but you talk about marginalized people you try to lump them all together and act like oh my god every every tranny's gonna fall apart if you tell a, a fucking pronoun joke iron liz doesn't give a shit for one for one for, for one for one transgender person that's okay with it can have committed suicide due to relentless bullying or, or maybe they committed suicide because after they transitioned and lopped their genitals off, they realized I have made a fucking <laughs> critical mistake. There's tons of literature proving that many of so them feel that way. Do you think that societal attitude towards transgenders has nothing to do with it? No. 
If anything, the society is set up, especially in the United States, to make sure that transgender people have everything they could ever ask for. And the only thing that it can't protect them from is they're, they're, people they're, who are mean. They're, but they're, that, they're that's the same for everybody. Their surgery is still not covered. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, you know, that's that's a, that's a to pay for people to chop their dicks off. Is that what you're saying? I, I think that's where he's going with it. Like, I've always been I, when I first met you, fake Ross, I was convinced you were just trolling around. Um, but and then I thought, OK, maybe it's like a deep cover troll. But I, you're you're real. You're like legit autistic, right? Yeah, like like mild, like mild. I, I was mild as per, but like it's not mild, buddy. You said earlier that you have severe autism. No, no, someone said, so someone said, no, uh, you, that was, you said that. I said I had crippling autism. That doesn't mean. <laughs> <laughs> <There's the truth. laughs> and you said it was developed because your adoptive parents have buyer's remorse. And what? You have a problem. You said this in a voice chat with me. Yeah, yeah, my, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My parents, my. Your parent, your, your adoptive parents have parent. buyer's remorse. Wow, that is beautiful. Did you come up with that, or did they tell you that? Well, he's Indian and they're Mexican. Oh, where do you shit, Ross? <laughs> you work that one out. You wipe with the left or right hand. I use I use a toilet paper like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what you, hand do you use? Yeah, do you use your feet when you're using the toilet paper? He's asking which hand, buddy. Okay, okay, now, okay, now you're Indian. Okay, a bunch of incels are asking me about how I wipe. You're a virgin. You said you're a virgin. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> You've confirmed to them that you're an incel. You're, you're like the you're like the uh, Mr. Medicare is like the arch the arch arch incel i that's like that. that's a new title that's i'm going one. with yeah you know ross there's only one person in this call that finger banged the chick on stream and you're talking to him so i don't know if you could really lob out the incel argument against me i have done basically the, live the, pornography the, on youtube i think i've one up you in this the whole the, the whole the whole you carved in your anime pillow that counts well, that anime pillow did make quite a few squeaking noises. That's why Ralph finds it so sumptuous. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, Kai, we could make fun of Ralph without him killing himself. Isn't that great? <laughs> Ralph, do you need a, do you need a, do you need a hug? Need a, okay, buddy. Are you going to make it through right, this? I'll be all right. I'll are be you, all right. Are you, right. Are you, are you like in Valley? Are you like Ralph? Right Somehow I'll make it through. Yes. Oh wait, are we what? Are we invalidating? Wait, what? We're invalidating your lived experience. You woman. We're here for your transition, Ralph. It's okay, Ralph Athena. We all support you in this beautiful new stage in your life. Ralph Athena, were you aware that, uh, that that HMOs don't want to cover you chopping your balls off? They think it might be a little crazy. I know Maybe it's crazy. Maybe they strange. don't think that's medically necessary. A yeah, shock. We'll all pay for it. <laughs> well, <laughs> Hey, does your friend by any chance have uh, is pre-operation but yeah, does want the operation? Yeah, she's pre-op, yeah. Okay. Let me tell you, just as a as a human being, as a friend that, that's just met you, don't don't let them get that fucking surgery because they will kill themselves. It's it's the worst fucking thing. It it's, is the worst fucking flip. thing. Yeah, he's right. It's a coin flip, man. I mean, it's 50-50 basically. You get that, I right, mean, like, this, like if you if you you know push them forward in their delusions, uh, and they're not they're not uh, as strong willed as some people, it, they're gonna fucking off themselves in probably like a year. And the information is biased. The resources out there about the surgery are fucking lopsided, heavily in favor of it, and people do not get the correct information about the drawbacks of cutting off a part of your body and funneling a hole into your pelvis it is not just don't let them don't that's why it's not covered because it's not only like people who have the surgery are more likely to attempt to commit suicide than people who haven't had the surgery so oh, the, 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 it, it's you, like yeah it's like 45 percent before 55 percent after the fucking treatment is worse than the disease don't no, no, get no, no, the no, fucking the, uh, surgery the chat is asking I, I don't think we even asked this 
uh, fake Ross, is your friend who's going to be transitioning, is it David? Uh, no. <laughs> Man, quick, that's the quickest you've answered to anything. That all was night, a real like, fast answer. Wow. Is, is David is David Ameri- is David American? I don't know what the fuck he is. Oh, he's British, isn't he? I believe so. Yeah. 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 He's a British gypsy. I don't know. I just I just thought it was interesting that you've taken so much time to answer every single question and then that was just split. That man, was that was a second. hard, fast fucking that's a rehearsed no. That's what that was. Now, now are, maybe are you sure? maybe we just don't know David's female name yet. Maybe that's what it is. That's why he was able to answer no real quick. What's David's what female is, name, Fake Ross? David is his dead name. We can't use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's another thing about Kiwi Farms. Why do you always wait when, when well, you know, articles about I've shown myself to be a tolerant person. If you want to tell me more about this transgender person, and if it is David, I will I will welcome them and their new name with open arms. Uh, it's not. Davida? <laughs> Why would he go with Davida? It's <laughs> <laughs> such a weird it's, one to go with. Probably Dana. Is David American? Is David American? Why do you keep asking? Is your transgender friend American? Yes. yes. Okay, so who British. in the sh- who in the shit rat Discord would be American? Let's let's go through the list. Is it Shurfa uh, Taku? Uh, oh my god! <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> he dude, played the camera dude. lady. Now he wants to be dude, the camera dude. lady. <sighs> Lisa Laval. Short, short, short fat Short fat Taku is like an MRA troll. So who is it? <laughs> what she doesn't she's not she doesn't have an internet personality. What? Okay. But if they're if they are your internet friend, how would they not I have an internet personality? You know what I mean? Like they're not a public figure. What? So they they exist privately on the internet. That's a new one. I mean, is it is it like a skeptic? Are they also like a skeptic like you, Super Guy? What? I'm not a skeptic. Yes, I, you or, are. Or like, yes, I, you I, are. I, 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 I value skepticism, but I, like if you're talking about like the reactionary, the reactionary community on YouTube, then no. Who who do you watch on YouTube? I'm actually I, I don't think I've ever asked you this. Like what who do you, you watch? Know, what what stuff do you watch on YouTube? Uh, uh, three arrows. Look, what um, else? Uh, contrapoints. Uh, philosophy tube. Uh, uh Peter Coffin. Uh, H bomber guy. You watch Peter Coffin. Uh, now, how do you refer to Peter's um, significant other? Uh, do you use Lindsay the proper Ellis. pronouns? Uh, do you use the the proper pronouns for Peter's significant other when referring to them as a blow up doll or a real person? How does that work? Okay, you know what? No, I don't think he knows the deep lore on Peter. Oh, Coffin, you don't know the it? deep lore about Peter's special girl that he bought at Costco. Uh, <laughs> he just makes he makes good he makes good videos on cultivation theories. No, what about his girl? I don't know. I don't know about his girlfriend. You don't know about Mandy the mannequin? No. Oh, I don't believe you. I don't think I believe you. I mean, I that was a while ago. That was a few years ago now. I just I, I just liked his videos on cultivation theory. By the way, Prince Hubris is in the chat, and he said that. Uh, Fake Ross doxed him for for going after someone. Oh, oh no no he bullied he, bullied, he, bullied, he bullied my friend he Ooh. bullied my friend he bullied my friend off Twitter. Let it be but known. Let it be known. Speaking yeah. speaking of yeah, Prince get rat and crowd associate doxes and threatens to kill people. I didn't. Just want to put I it didn't. out there. All right, here we go. Hubris himself. You can. Oh you can... yes, thank you. Yes. Oh, okay, what, 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 you. Did she, what what did she do to you though? Like she didn't. Well, well, first of all, dumbass. Uh, I didn't dox her. I just retweeted something that had her dox in it, which you was tweeted from her own personal YouTube channel when she was like in fucking high school or something. So it wasn't her actual dox. You called her. You called. You called her. You called her sexy when she was in high school. Like you're a fucking pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I would never do such a thing. Have you watched that video? She's not anything close to sexy. But go off. Continue. Okay, like. Like, um, and you, 
Continue. I'm waiting. I, I, have, I have a tweet from you where you said pedophilia, okay, well, is, not, show pedophilia it. is not increasing. Kids are just getting sexier. That's a tweet. <laughs> 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 that's a literal that's a that's a tweet that you wrote yeah i know and if you if you don't see the irony in it you're a fucking retard but continue <laughs> like it, it, how, how would you react if like a left-wing person said that or, i wouldn't i i wouldn't because i understand humor a left-wing person would never make that fucking nuanced joke ever Oh yeah, like a joke. Did, a joke did, about, did, did you get? Did you mind. did? No, 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 no. Listen, listen, asshole. Listen, asshole. Did you get the uh, screen cap of me uh, doing the NBC tweet of like me showering with my sister or whatever? No, no, no. no you didn't, because I don't have a sister, which is what makes it funny. Like the whole NPC meme is a fucking tr- is is a is a bad j- joke. But the the most absurd way you can take it is hilarious, and that that's the same thing with the tweet you mentioned. Like, oh, there's not more pedophiles; kids are just getting sexier. But I'm glad I'm on the air because, uh, oh, I have a lot of pedophiles to expose. Actually, this is uh, this is, is good. it. Super Kai sixty four. Do we? Have, is there a pedophile in the room that we should know about? Not here. Probably not here. But um, there there was a Kiwi Farms thread that led me to digging, and uh, I've got like a no, I've got enough for for at least an hour of content, depending on how long you guys want to go. No, no, wait, let me ask you, what did what did Fake Ross do to you? Okay, I want I want to keep it to Fake Ross. We can always talk about that. Oh, he, any anytime I made a new account, he would get mad at me, uh, for saying that I dox his friend Olive. Um, and if I really wanted to dox, I would. But uh, her friend, his friend Olive, which I didn't do, which ironically, uh, this, this guy named Zero doxed her Boy. and, and leaked. Just... No, no, you don't. No, you can't interrupt. Uh, this guy named Zero uh, leaked her old YouTube from when she was in high school, and she did some cringy sonnet. She's she's highly autistic, highly autistic. She can't even. Uh, do a full sentence, let alone a stanza, without you called, stuttering you, out. You called her a roasty. Okay, what's your point? Like there is well, no. okay. Is, let is me continue. Olive, then. Is all of the, the transgender yeah, person? No, no, no. All of, all. I mean, I'm not, are they transgender? I don't really care. So all of the, the person that's that to doxed, uh, I retweeted a tweet from this guy. That ended up uh, actually doxing my family and myself for going after other trainees. Uh, it, his name is Zero. He's known as O or Zero or yeah O A C V on Twitter. And uh, if you look at him now, that person at O A C V on Twitter. Uh, him and Oliver are both mutuals. I think there the, the, she has humid hollow and coherent states. All right, Hubris, look, I'm going to bring not. you I'm going to bring you back in cuz I'm trying to keep it to fake raw stuff. Like it's kind of getting off like off. Uh, if you're just reading the fucking shit off my forum, I assure you it'll be there after this conversation. Yeah, I don't know what your forum is, dude. It's the Kiwi Farms he you owns fucking Kiwi moron. Farms. Yeah, he owns Kiwi Farms. Yeah. He okay. runs Kiwi. He runs Kiwi uh, uh, no, no, you you can keep me here. I'll uh, I'll I'll uh I'll be quiet. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Um, is 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 Fake Ross still alive? I see he's muted now. Or oh, maybe the he's coming up on the door. Yeah. <laughs> he, the cops are right there now. I don't they know. found him. No, he he's dilating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you done dilating, Ross? Did you? Well, did you dox this guy, uh, Ross? You did you dox Hubris? I know, I know a guy that you retweeted doxed him. No, no, you doxed me. Your account has since been suspended. No, I got suspended for a different reason. Threatening <laughs> <laughs> to kill people. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll. That's a good way to get. Suspended. Okay, so, so just so we can sum up, right? Yes. Ross, fake Ross, Mister. I want everybody to be nice on the internet. 
you dox hubris, you threaten to kill a bunch of people that you politically disagree with, you hang out with shit rat and that crowd making target lists of the alt right in Discord all day. Who are you fooling with your bullshit? What do you want to be nice and hugs and kisses and Can fucking the, rainbows and shit? Like, would, would you say the stuff you say on the internet to a person in real life? Yes. Would I call you a faggot in real life? Yes, absolutely, I would. Where can I say this to you in real life, Ross? <laughs> what state? Can you give us a state? Yeah. I can't reveal my information. I'll give, it, give us a time zone. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> A hero. Now, let me ask you this, Ross: Are, are the are the FBI? Have they have they contacted you? Are they have they talked to you about your Secret Service, perhaps? Uh, about your about your tweet? There, I know, or? I know. Uh, there's like nothing, like literally. Nothing I mean, because I have a hard time believing that because it was all over the media, like not just the conservative Did you media. Say, was in, believe that the Secret Service contacted you? I was. Uh, no. I uh, know, uh, like, there's nothing like that happened. Where where did the lies end, Ross? Did it happen or not? Why are you telling him it did if it didn't? I didn't. Why are you laughing when you say you didn't? You're lying. No, I said I said something like the Secret Service said investigate Huey Farms. I didn't say anything about me. Why would the Secret Service investigate the forum? Because you're dead naming trannies. <laughs> <laughs> We need the White House on this now. Unless fucking like Milani is a tranny, I don't think the Secret Service would get involved. You know, I think this whole like internet thing is like I think it's a perfect example of capitalist alienation. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, th more buzzwords, please. You know what? Actually, I want you to define that for me, fake Ross. Tell us what that means. Like we're forced, we're forced to compete to each other for like on, on the interest of the capitalists. So we're we're alienated from what we produce. No, I mean, like a no asshole, you don't compete for you don't how produce you, how you capital. You don't compete for through capitalism. You, you don't compete produce through what money. you produce. You work at a call That's center, what capitalism pay. is. Yeah, I, I I lose money hosting. Work, 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 it would be, it's like, against work, my interest to host work, the forum. Workers, capitalistic. Work. Workers have no ha, have no say in how you're not a worker. Work. You're a call center person. You pajee. <laughs> you're a fucking pedophile. <laughs> is what you are, asshole. Actually, fake Ross. Do you work? He's a no, call center. Definitely he's not. There's no fucking way this dude works on a fucking telephone. <laughs> yeah. Can you can you give us your sales pitch? <laughs> I want to hear what it sounds like when you call some poor unfortunate fucker up and try to have a quick conversation. Yeah, you're not too quick on the draw. I think you have to be a little, little sharper than that, maybe to, to do the call center. Thing. Maybe you start with hello. Yeah, I my internet's broken. Uh, how do I, how do I get back on the internet? Uh, uh, I, uh, I have, I, I, I have worked, but I'm currently unemployed. Rising. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're, you're, you're not only okay. So, so far you've confirmed for us that you're a virgin with rage and you're unemployed. Currently, currently unemployed. Currently, a virgin with rage and unemployed. I, I have worked in the past, but you've never had sex. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking silence every time. I mean, just Would you have sex with a tranny with your tranny friend, Super Kai. Jeez, Is that what's going on here? Are you trying to get your friend to transition so you can fuck their front hole? <laughs> well, that's right. Never mind. They're a lesbian. All fucking. In no, wait, wait, wait. Just wait, wait, lesbian. wait. There's no, there's no shame here, fake Ross. Just, I mean, just submit it. If it's, if, if I mean, would you, Ross, if you, if Ross. if she wasn't a lesbian, would you hit that front hole, Ross? You could just take some HRT and then hit that. You could be. Yeah, woman. you could be trans too, and then you could have lesbian sex. No, it's, it's my understanding that That'd you already, it's you already said this in in private conversation, right? That you were a virgin. Yeah, I'm so so is like ninety percent of the alt right. So you you're confirming that it's not. So ten percent of them get more pussy than you is what you're telling us. 
right? Is that how the math works out? I mean, you're the one that knows all these great capitalistic theories. You must be a wizard at fucking economics and mathematics. Thank Ross, you there? Okay, okay, watch ContraPoint's videos about what's wrong with capitalism. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a yes, and that's a yes to banging your tranny friend. Yeah, just to wind it back. I mean, are you if if they weren't a lesbian, would you be interested in them, fake Ross? What was Okay. He muted himself. Something started playing and they muted oh. themselves because he was I think it's ringtone. Uh, I I I hope not. I really hope a grown man didn't pick that out. Is this fucking ringtone? <laughs> what the fuck was it? I don't it know. sounded like a lullaby. It sounded like a fucking lullaby playing from it's, his phone. To me, it sounded like like an old school Soviet communist song. Yeah, I know, that's what I thought that's too at I first. Like too. propaganda tense. What are you playing there? What's your ringtone, Ross? Ross. Did they call you? You know, you, you know the song. You know the song, you know the song Katio- Katyusha? No. Okay. T- <laughs> no, not it's is it the Panzer und Girls uh, Katusha cover? Or whatever, whatever the fuck it is, it's a Russian folk song. Yeah, we got the call Russian, Russian folk song. That's pretty fucking gay, to be honest. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit embarrassed that I know what it is, but. So you got what is that? An ode to communism or something? You got on your phone there? What is it? How do you even have a phone, <laughs> by the way? If you don't have a fucking job, like how are you paying for your phone? He says he doesn't take any any welfare or anything so no but, welfare no job how do you how does that phone have a ringtone how does it have battery life you're an adult right so how are you paying for your shit fake ross how old are you let's start with that how old are you kind of your are, business I'm are, you, young, but... are you okay am i grooming you are we a preteen a teenager or are you an adult can you at least say that are you an adult uh late teens that's are not you, an are answer you or not yeah, are you an adult or no? Legally, yeah. What do you what, legally? <laughs> Wait, mentally you're not? Well, I mean, like, that's that's the big debate going on now. Well, he did say it's crippling like, autism. So you're 19 okay, then, um, late teens, you're an adult. Or, I mean, I guess gosh, you could be what, 18 enough. too, but Ralph. Just, yeah, just turn 19. Ralph, you need yes. to pull up what I just sent you on your Discord DMs. <laughs> it's it's uh, very I, pertinent to the stream. I just posted it in the side chat. <laughs> okay, let me pull this up. Let me see. I always have to screen yours first, Nigo Joe. Not telling what you'll you'll be sending me. Oh, do you get no. any kind what of is... assistance? Do you or do you? Oh no! What is this? <laughs> oh, well, now, put it on stream. I, I want to see what this is. It's super kind. Yeah. It's, it's a quote uh, from uh, September the twenty third, twenty eighteen, which is what uh, eight days ago. Or so, how do I get out? Uh, And then the next one that is in big letters says, I will never post scat porn again. Can I leave the gulag, please? (laughs) Is that from, from, wait, wait, the gulag? This is from Crowd Crowd Server. We found this in the, in his Discord. Okay, so let's, let's, uh, I'm I'm loving this. All right, so just so I got this clear, you're an unemployed virgin with rage that loves communism. You're an adult, have no income, but you have a phone and a computer and the internet. And you post scat porn with your buddies David Shitrat and Crowd. Oh, and you threaten to shoot people you politically disagree with. What do you have to say, Ross? Uh, you're a loser that spends a lot of time. Oh, like you know, TV shit. I, 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 would say, <laughs> I would say, why should I do a video on the alt right? Why don't I do a video on you? You sound like somebody I would cover in a video, Ross. Dude, I'm the most interesting person. Like, well, what would you, what would that? How would that be like? Oh, this guy just copped on stream and just talked about what? What would I? What would I talk about? How about the guy that likes scat porn, threatening to kill alt writers because of his virgin rage and love of communism? <laughs> He's an Indian in the scat porn. <laughs> 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 oh shit! This what? is the, the poo uprising. Now, why did you? Rise up. Why did you post that, Ross? What was? It was a joke. Okay. What, How did you would, get in the gulag? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it totally was a joke, guys. And did they and did they let you out of the gulag? Yeah. Oh, so how did so you they, get they, in? They, there? Yeah. You have to be. 
You have to be put in there, Ross. Did you actually yeah. post it? Yeah, yeah, I posted scat porn, and then I got put in the gulag, and then I got it out. Who called in a favor to get you out? Was that uh, Sherrod himself, or? Uh, Kraut, Kraut himself came. Oh, Kraut. Oh, Kraut. So Kraut, Kraut himself. Kraut oh. Wow. When it came to shit porn. Okay, Even better. Oh. <laughs> Kraut said, I'm not going to let this man stay in prison with his love of poop. He's got to come back into the main Discord. Hey, it's his culture. Hey, 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 Jim, if you want a video idea, how about Richard Spencer advocating child porn? I, I don't know. Uh, it, it did I, Richard... already, I already did that on the Weekly Sweat, actually, and, and not too many people care. So <laughs> try I, I, try try harder. Ross, did, people... did Richard Spencer post about his love of shit porn on a, a, a Discord with a hit list after threatening to kill people that are politically different than him? Like you is that did? Worse than is that is that worse than pedophilia? Well, I don't know. Yeah. So far, we found out you've doxxed yes, people, you've threatened to kill people, you're into shit porn, you hang out with people that have target lists. Like, I'm more curious now, like, you don't work and you don't date. What the fuck do you do all day? What does your day consist of? When you wake up and go to bed, like, what's in between those two things? What do you do all day? I mean, I'm, work I'm working on, I'm, I, okay, I play video games and I'm also working on a book. <laughs> Yo, video games and a book. <laughs> your book has one sentence in it. <laughs> your book has one sentence in it, Ross. Who's going to be in the book, Ross? No, no, no it doesn't. You read one. <laughs> okay, when we were in VoIP, I asked him to read some of his book too. I asked the same question. He did the same exact sentence, word for and he, word. And then he said, "That's all I have so far." <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. did. You're, you told you're me to such read, a liar. You told me to. You told me to read the first part of your book. And then you said, "That's it." No, I didn't. That's <laughs> yeah, you wrote. Well, you read one sentence, and then you said, and you that's "Read it. a second sentence, then motherfucker. <laughs> read a different sentence." I'm dying. Uh, I'm to hear it. I, I want to hear. Really, I want to hear. Yeah. We all do. We really yeah. want to hear this. Just give us a little taste. He's writing it right this fucking second. <laughs> He's writing <laughs> that second sentence. Bolts of sweat fucking running down his face. Just, just, just a little. Are sample. you interested in purchasing my book? I yeah. will buy your fucking book. <laughs> no, no, you won't. That's capitalist. We're communists. You'll give it to us. Oh, that's right. That's right. You need to share it. You need to share your your manifesto with the proletariat so we can be enlightened with your your fucking fucking disgusting right bourgeoisie motherfucker. You're gonna give it to us. Yeah. Yeah. What's what's the definition? Do you even know what the definition of bourgeoisie is? No. What's the definition? You're the communist expert. Tell me. Uh, people, the people who have their relations to the modes of production as rather the, the proletariat who are the forces of the modes of production. Wow, really then I guess I used it correctly, huh, retard? No, no like, like the way people use bourgeoisie. Did, you know, did I know, use people, it correctly, idiot? Yeah? You, you use it in a way it's like, oh, like, did I use it correctly, now, Ross? No, yeah. No, no, are you producing the book or no? Is it, is it, you're the, you're the, you're the owner of it, yes? Yes, but I'm the I'm the forces of the book, so I'm the, the forces. The forces, yeah. What do you mean by forces, Ross? You need to go watch more contrapoints videos so you can get this shit in order before you come back here and talk about communism with us. Yeah, I wonder how your friends in the crowd Discord are gonna gonna take your appearance tonight. Uh, your tranny friend might even disavow you after this one. Ross, what kind of porn are you into? Are you really into scat? I don't. I don't watch. I don't watch porn. Why not? Uh, I'm. I'm, a, I'm asexual. Are you a fucking sponge? I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true, Ross. I'm calling. I'm calling your shit. I don't think you are. Because unless you're fucking spayed and neutered. I get the feeling you want to hunt no, something. Earlier, else. when we were asking you if you're a virgin, and you said yes, but only for now. So you, that must mean in the future you plan on not gotcha. being a virgin. Got your eyes on a nice little piece of tail there. What's his name? <laughs> Is it David? The. Why would I tell you her name? Because we're out for well, did you just friends. Gender, your future lover. What? You said her. You can't misgender them. You're marginalizing them, Ross. This is how people end up killing themselves. 
Wait, it's actually it's actually David Sherratt for real? Use his pronouns correctly next time. What do you like about David? Just tell us what you like about him. What? I'm not even... It's not like I'm best friend. He's just a guy I follow on Twitter. Mm. I'm sensing some sexual tension. Yeah, <laughs> you, just, you just follow him, but he invites you into discords. And then any back rubs involved, mm-hmm. Ross? Slot up in those DMs. Yeah, you, yeah, you slide up in the DMs and start sharing the poo porn. Send some outlines. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know. I'm 50-50 on this guy. Let me pull the room. Do you think he's legitimately autistic like this, or is this just like the really dedicated troll persona? He exasperates some things. Cause when the, I think we he's were, both. I think he's we, a, like a super autist, autistic. but he thinks he's trolling. Yeah. Give me some background in the VoIP. He was claiming he had hacked the forum and had an admin account and could take down any posts in any thread at any time. And if you'd ask him how, you know, he would dodge it like he does. And he would sometimes laugh awkwardly. And that kind of gave me the sneaking suspicion that he was bullshitting and knowingly bullshitting. So I think he he is like an awkward weirdo. He probably does have some weird ideological things going on. But when it comes to like talking to people, he just plays shit up for laughs. Also, so let's ask let's ask the chat. I want, I want to see if you would actually believe me if I said, oh, I'm the ad, I'm, the, I'm an admin at TV. Let's, let's ask the chat. Press one for complete autist. Press two for for troll, maybe a little autist, little autism. Uh, yeah, yeah, number three would be a mix of both. <laughs> yeah, 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 three for a mix. Yeah, okay. Ross, yeah, do you get your money from? Do you get your money from Social Security disability for being severely retarded? What? No. Yeah, do you get any social? I mean, social security stuff. That's that's within the communist lines, right? Nothing Redistribution wrong with that. of wealth. You're into that. Do you get any any social security disability? It's, it's you know we're friends here. No. So who? I mean, who pays for stuff? Like, if I could get a government assistance, I'd take it. Is it? Is it your mom? Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I live, I live with my. With your what? You cut out. Sorry. Yeah, I live with my parents. Do you have any plans to change that? No. Well, I mean, it's difficult to get housing, so we're. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, Fick Ross, I, I am. I'm, I'm, have it. Oh, well, I'm kind of curious. Like uh, websites that you use. Do you do you have you ever been on a forum called Face Punch? Because you seem like the type that would probably fit in there. Uh, no, I never heard of it. What what forums do you use? Uh, I'm not really a forum kind of guy. Like uh, sometimes I use Reddit, but like you know, Reddit is like fucking mm-hmm. full of you know. Yeah. Like I like I'm, I I only I only go on Reddit Checks for like out. specific subreddits. Checks like what? Out. Like the poo porn? R slash scat. I don't know how do you, how do you judge this? So uh, Josh, say he is an autistic troll. Which which do you which takes priority on that? Autism for sure. Yeah yeah I mean, autism because it is it's a thing where it's uh, like if he wasn't doing this he'd be playing fucking Fortnite and losing so you know this is more fun than that because it, again, I think he's very socially isolated so this fills up the social social meter like on his stat bar. Just I lean people. much more heavily towards just an autistic leftist. I mean you see they all let him back in their Discord and let him hang around. I mean obviously they don't think he's a complete troll or they wouldn't. I know I'm, I'm actually I actually am concerned about like you know internet like I want to. I, I believe that internet culture, like the way we, it needs to be reformed. Like to, so what, what, to what end? Yeah, I mean, what, what's what goal are you are you going for? Reformed how? To what? What do you want the end state to be? I mean, we should, yeah. we should we should we should we should interact online the same way we interact in real life. Is that your only objective? Like like look look like I can interact with a person from the other side of the world. Yet most people just abuse this privilege. Like, I would call but, you a faggot to your face. It's not yeah, a privilege. Sure. It's a service. What do you What do you mean privilege? Wait the like. like I can pick up money. my telephone, yeah. call somebody in India, and call him a faggot. The telephone company doesn't cry about it. So wh- why is the internet different? Like communicating like the across internet, the world like, makes it special somehow. Like the concept of an internet is supposed to like change like the human like humanity. Like think think about we have at libraries of information just on our uh, just on the palm of our hands so, we've had libraries forever ross they've existed in cities for uh, hundreds of years <laughs> thousands of years it's not 
It's not special. We've always had information at our fingertips. It's just a little closer. Well, you have to roll out of bed a little less. Yeah, but this yeah, was no. taking place at like a coffee shop and we were all gathered around drinking coffee at a table. I'm pretty sure this conversation would be going almost identical to how it's going right now. I don't think this medium changes how we talk to you. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it'd be dead on what we're talking about. Yeah. I don't think I'd talk to this guy in public. It just feels like internet culture encourages sociopathy. Oh, pulling out those big buck words. It's like, it's like just. Uh, so, okay. Look, he asked you, what would your, what social change do you want to see? And the only answer you've given thus far is that you want online interaction to be sanitized. Do you have anything else that you care about besides people being nice to you online? You mean, you mean like, you mean like, what, what do you mean? Anything, anything. literally you, anything. You said you yeah, don't like yeah, the way the internet is. I support, I support Medicare for. I, Should uh, transgender surgery be covered under Medicare for all? Yes. <laughs> There's another quick answer there. Why is it a problem? <laughs> I think I think this guy could run in fucking Massachusetts for Congress. He's got the same exact fucking platform as Brianna Wu. He wants the internet to be nice and he wants free sex change operations. This is perfect. Also, <laughs> it's clear this tranny has, has promised to fuck you, right? Is that is that why you're so like up in arms she, about dude, it? She's a, she's, a, she's a lesbian. Why would you? Okay. Well, I mean, there. let's be fair here. You're not striking us as much of a man. So, I mean, maybe <laughs> maybe she's getting mixed signals. Are you going to be the first one to break her in? He wants to get that tranny fanny. Maybe he could pull the, yeah, old, okay. the old double well, switch why, and he could why, he could transition yeah, as well. Do you, know? you want that is it, is it hard to see trans? Why do you have to, why do you have to use more Ro uh, Okay, fake that? Ross, honest question. Do you want to be her stand-in dilation station? What? No. <laughs> do you want to pull out the hairballs? <sighs> No, you be know? honest. Be honest. Would you? Would you? If you could, if you could have consensual sexual relationships with this transgendered person that you're friends with, would you? Okay. Now, okay. A bunch of Nazi incels are fucking asking me about fucking. You know, yes, I am asking you as a Nazi incel, motherfucker. Would you fuck this tranny? No. Why not? I don't think. Her Isn't she enough way. of a woman for you? Yeah. What do you got against trannies? Yeah. Sexist. You're saying she's not a woman? You're trans misogynist. I'm fucking disgusted with you right now. You're marginalizing her. Hairballs are natural, Ross. You're going to pick them out with your teeth, Ross. Use your tongue. Dig deep. <laughs> Make her feel like a real woman. That's what you want to do, right? Like, okay, I have a question for medical. Like, is this how you act in real life? Like... Yes, absolutely. This is absolutely how I act in real life. So no, nobody calls you out on your behavior. Did no one call you like a fucking autistic faggot in real life before? Uh, no, because I don't believe that. That's surprising. Do you go outside? How? Okay. On average, how many times per week do you have a conversation with another person that you were not related to? Okay, does online count? No. 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 <laughs> That's the opposite of counting. Uh, yeah, I interact with people on fairly, like, fairly regular. Like, and it doesn't count like I'm going like, to the convenience store and, and buying your yeah, no. Pajit snacks. Sitting down and having a conversation like we're having right now, face to face with another person on average per week. How often does that happen? Okay, maybe like, maybe like once every couple of weeks, I guess. So twice a month you talk to a human being face to face okay like i, I mean Kate, you, you said you don't count short conversation no 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 casual interactions like yeah. can i have can i have fries like that doesn't count you're talking like, and it can't be your parents if you're, like full conversations and that's like twice yeah twice a month like three maybe three times a month so how do you but know what a real conversation is like when you're telling us that the internet needs to be like real life when you don't talk to people Oh wait! Hey, no, the, 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 more images. No, the way ahead, people go treat ahead. our like the. Huh. No, continue. I didn't mean to cut you off. I've just been handed some new material, so that's why. Oh, did you find his uh, forum that he <laughs> that he frequents? His Reddit. Yeah, this is this is him in uh, in Kraut's Discord. Kraut, I got a new one. He's linking to an Aiden Paladin tweet. This is disturbing. Linking to another Aiden Paladin tweet, and then here. 
here's another one. Uh, let's see. This Are you one... obsessed with Aiden Paladin? Is she your girlfriend that you're talking about? She's a bitch. <laughs> this no wait. <laughs> you wouldn't dilate her is what you're saying to us, buddy. Her her username was literally crypto fascist. You got a problem with that? Here's another quote from him on September the tenth. Says apparently <laughs> Medicare and H Bomber guy have a history <laughs> going back ten years. This dude's a you, real you internet just, sleuth. You just figured that out? Wow, wow. It's stellar detective work. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you, Ross, if you're curious. Um, H Bomber guy and I knew each other from a forum we both frequented. Uh, we yeah, know, medic, medic, maybe maybe people. about seven or eight times. I uh, did a voiceover, a commentary on Naruto porn. I'm really not joking about that. Made fun of Armic 21 and uh, did some DCQC articles. And that, that was about the extent of it. Then, then another comment, he says, I can't talk in voice chat. Do you guys think Mr. Medicare had malicious intent or is he really gullible? That was the uh, end of the... Oh, answer. malicious intent. What are we talking about, Ross? What did I do that was so naughty on the 10th? Uh, you accused Mundane Matt of being a pedophile? When did I accuse Mundane Matt of being a pedophile? Oh, because he held a chick up at knife point and tried to make her kiss him behind a shirt? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking <laughs> retard? Really? Ross, if I held a knife against your throat and demanded that you sexually interact with me, what would you call that? For what? Play. Did, For him. You, no, you never said that. <laughs> that was what he was accused of. We were watching yes. a video don't where you? he talked about holding a girl up at knife point. Ross, don't you believe accusers? Are you are you telling that are you saying that accusers are lying? What? Hey, don't you believe he women? Ross? Him. She's right. You can't are you denying that the accuser? Like, uh, like I don't even like Monday Matt. Like he called the flag and he just No, Ross, you are this is this is real serious. You're you're saying that a a, a sexual assault victim is lying? Was she asking for it? Is that what you're telling us? No, no, like, you, you, but no, the thing I'm, is like, you took tweets out of context. What, it wasn't what a tweet, tweet. He said it was a video. a video. Yeah, it was in a video where he explicitly said he was accused of holding a girl at knife point to force her to kiss him and was thrown out of church because he wouldn't fuck her. Okay, fine, you're fine, fine. So, like, Coach Red Pill talked. Made a video how no, 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 no. Are you denying? Are you saying that this accuser is a liar and made it up? What? This, this is very misogynistic. You can't say this kind of thing. I bet this motherfucker supports Kavanaugh. We should kick him out of here. Doesn't yeah, this is, this is fucking out. crypto. You're talking about crypto fascism, like Ross. There's damning evidence against Kavanaugh. There's oh. evidence against. Oh. Matt, he got kicked out of church. And actually, police. Ross, it's pretty much know. the same evidence against both of them, if you want to be honest. <laughs> like, like, like I said, I don't even like Monday Matt. Like, he called the flag several... Like, uh, That's Anita not Sarkis you're, you're dodging. This is a deflection. Do you believe the girl when she said that he held her up at knife point or not? Okay, but this is a claim that Matt, Monday Matt's making. I don't even... So you don't believe it's the girl that said that, that she was held at knife point? Yeah, I don't, I, don't, like, I don't even know the full situation. The a thirteen-year-old you... girl said Matt held her up at knife point and forced her to kiss her, kiss him. Want to kiss are, you saying that the 13... are you saying that she's li She's lying? Are you denying? And if you didn't know the woman? full story, why would you automatically assume that Medicare was in the wrong? That's fucked up, Ross. Why? Why okay, would you? No, no, my. Okay, no, the reason. Okay, I posted that because, like, did, like, did, does Medicare have malicious intent? Is he gullible? that uh, so am i gullible for believing monday matt when he tells us a story that he was accused by a 13 year old of holding her at knife point to initiate some kind of a sexual contact with him or am i malicious in believing him like how does that make any sense what you're saying i believe all women accusers i mean monday matt's the one that told that one? the story yeah he told the story we didn't make it up monday matt made a video saying she accused me of holding her up at knife point and then attacking her brother with chairs and drunk dialing her father at two in the morning. Are you condoning harassing women and assaulting okay. them sexually? Okay, I'm not even. I'm not even really defending Monday match. I'm just. Well, you're denying the the girl's accusation. Yeah, you're this denying is her lived experience. Yeah, I can't handle this. It's upsetting, really, to be honest. 
I'm I'm kind of shocked. I mean, I thought you were a good guy, man. But you you also, you also made you also you also sent me fake posts as saying that the H bomber guy threatened threatened this girl. Oh, no, I didn't send you anything. You're, you're talking about, that's quoted directly from ED. That's part of the history of ED. Yeah, Encyclopedia Dramatica. You're, you're using that as a you, you can ask any sysops. You can ask DeGrippo if you want about the ED singers and about what happened between H or uh, uh, Haberman and LMTE, the ED singers, the troll shielding article, the whole history of it, how H bomber guy was related to that. Yeah, you can fucking go ask anybody that was around. They will tell you the story, the same fucking story I told. You're a fucking bitch. Oh, come on, Ross. You <laughs> no, gotta stick Ross. to it better. Either be the autistic guy or be the troll, but you can't you can't you can't fluctuate. You gotta stick to the character. Yeah, I'm not playing a character. Like what the f So you're really this retarded? Well, how am I how, what, what, okay, what retarded thing have I said? Everything. Oh, Literally yeah, everything. Yeah, there's been a lot. Yeah. I mean, where where do you want me to start? The sex stuff, the twenty four human interactions per year that you have, the not working is that, is that, scat porn. Is that more pathetic about a guy, a guy who go who makes his entire YouTube career off of fucking Gamergate and watching people on DeviantArt? Well, Ross, I mean, I'm, I don't talk about I talked about Gamergate for three months in twenty fourteen. Okay, fine. Other than that, okay, fine. Like, well, what about DeviantArt? That's even more pathetic. Yeah, but that's not my life. That's the difference. I'm talking about other people's weird, pathetic shit, Ross. You're telling us about your weird, pathetic shit. Do you get the difference? I'm laughing at diaper furs shitting and jacking off to wolf pictures. You are the diaper fur shitting and jacking off to wolf pictures. <laughs> you get it? Like, that's I'm the up. difference. That's the core difference. You're, you are the lived experience. I'm the guy watching from the audience. What are you I mean, it's clear that you are... Like, how many times do you went on the Kumite? I probably went on, I don't know, maybe like 20 times, I guess, the experience of it. He's Ross, what are you doing with your mic? mic? Ross, Ross, what are you doing with the mic, dude? Chill out with it. You're not just an observer. You're a clear participant. Well, yeah, I mean, I can say a lot of things about dances with dongas, but he's not a diaper for Ross. I, I, don't, I, I don't see where you're going with this. Are you trying to say that Tonka saw is a diaper fur? No, no, I'm just saying like you. Because I can assure you, you, he's not. No, you just you just said you just said before of how you're just an oh you're just an observer, just trying to. But, that, but it's clear that you partake. No, he's example. drawing a distinction between people who live that daily reality and him commenting on it, as as many other people do comment on weird fucked up shit. Like let me let me put it this way: if we were to kick you off of this right now, what would you do? What would you go back to doing? Uh, play maybe like go, we'll go to sleep now since it's late. Okay, you wake up. What do you do? I fucking told you that ringtone was a lullaby. I fucking told you guys that. It was a Soviet song. It was a Soviet song by a Japanese woman for a fucking cartoon show. What? Was it not the the, the anime version? Of what? Never mind. If you When you wake up, what are you doing? What do you go back to doing? Uh, playing video games, I guess. Uh, drawing art. Well, that's that's what he means. Oh God, can you share your art? Yeah, with I was about to say I want to see yeah, some. Yeah, you draw. Do you have a uh, deviant art? Uh, no, it's mostly sketches. Can you show us? What do you sketch? Just post yeah, one in the Discord. A bunch of, a bunch of yeah, alt, alt right in no, no, Don't show us. Just describe it. Like, what do you, what do you draw? Horses, trees. Trannies, what do you do? Uh, mostly draw trains. <laughs> Come on. Come on. No, this is bullshit. I, that's 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 the bridge too far for me. No. Trains, trains, like No, like, I you heard know, you. Know. I heard you. No, I don't believe it. That's where I draw the line. This is too much. Thomas What's your favorite Duncan? train? What's your, like, do you have a favorite there's the there's like a chain called uh, Mono Chan, which is all about trains. Do you have like a favorite type of train? Percy the train. What do you draw? You if you draw trains, you should be able to tell us what kind of train that you like, right? Okay, do, okay, Medic, do you like to do this <laughs> forever? I refuse oh, wait, to believe no, no, that no. you draw pictures of trains. I fucking refuse to believe it. You have to prove yeah. me wrong with one picture, just one, one picture to prove me wrong. 
or or name talk about what kind of trains you like do you like is it like thomas the tank engine or is it like real so, trains what's so weird about that i mean like there's there's people who drive Ro- no 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 ross no 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 all right that's the biggest joke that exists on the internet and in real life is that autistic people are obsessed with trains so if you're telling like that's just too much that's 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 going way overboard you have to prove to me that you're actually drawing fucking pictures of trains because i don't believe you supposed to pick okay why are you so judgmental we're not judgmental we're curious it's just a stereotypical thing it's kind of funny that you're bringing it up and we're really curious and we're hoping that you can show us some of your pictures because we're really curious to see them i like trains too to a bunch I, of, I love trains i love how to fast they of, go to, to a bunch of incels says the incel yeah i don't believe this guy draws or draws trains he's full of shit this is, lying, where Ross. this is where I make the obligatory Lily Fang reference. That's a deep cut in uh, <laughs> <Toad> history. <laughs> Next, he's gonna say he's yeah. Most, other than that, I mostly just play. I mostly just play video games. I want to see this locomotive, Ross. Just you pushed it too far. You you were doing so well, but that 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 gave it away. That's that's game, man. What are you doing with your mic? What the fuck are you doing with you your mic? Choose, choose, choose a better mic, dude. Jesus Christ. I think he's laying in bed and the phone is brushing up against his pillow or something. Yeah, I'm going to go sleep in a couple minutes. What else? Yeah. Uh, I want to see. I it's wanna see it's, it's over. He's, he's done. He's tapping out. <laughs> I think, yeah, if he was real, he would be able to. Because, t- like, okay, you know, Nedeker, you should know ADF. The fucking uh, the the communist guy. Yeah, who, yeah, I know what you're talking about him. Yeah. He draws nonstop. He draws like civil engineering shit. He draws road signs and and like train routes and roads and stuff. And I guarantee and bicycles. He loves bicycles. And it's like I'm sure if he came on, I could ask him about bicycles or road signs, and he could start getting really fucking specific. No, wait, and, somebody, and details Jasper in the chat stuff. says, Jasper in the chat says, let me make sure I'm unmuted. Jasper in the chat says he draws chain, trains to appeal to that Jurlasta tranny. It likes trains too. That's what somebody in the chat says. I don't know. If <laughs> <laughs> it, was actually, it, was, it was actually a joke. Like, I actually do have a friend that's obsessed with trains, so I just wanted to, oh, I joke. Yeah, no, it's I too late. It. It's too late. You already <laughs> lost it. You lost it. The game's over. You gave it up. That fucked you over. What? It was It was convincing, but you fucked it up. You fucked up, buddy. What? Okay, so do. But there's literally, there's literally nothing you can say now. It's it's the game, game set match. We're done. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. How how long do you think you're fine? Here's like good faith question. How do you, how long do you think your internet career is gonna? Be? Why are we even talking? You've already you've just uncovered yourself as a troll, Ross. I mean, there's no point. Ow. Are you saying I should? Bring the yeah, well, there's, well, it's not it's not fun anymore because now there's not a mystery about it. Now it's confirmed, so there's no point. It's like a dead end. It's just kind of eh. All right, Ross. Thank you for coming on the kill stream. We peacefully sunsetted him. There's still a lot of autism there, though, right? Uh, yes, um, I'm. I'm still like I think. Yeah, I think he does. He'll he'll say shit he knows will trigger a reaction, but. Like, I, I don't know. He just comes across to me as like a husk of a person. Because you remember, you know, Jace, you obviously know fucking Jace. Jace yeah. was a troll. But he was he was spastic and entertaining and he could run with shit. That guy can't run with shit and he just kind of plays the same notes. And I, I, I'm pretty sure he's fucking like super autistic. But he, this is like the only attention he gets. I believe him when he says he doesn't have like conversations with people. I, I'm sure there's a grain of truth in there, but the train thing was a little bit too much. It was, <laughs> it was. He might as well have said, "I play with Legos all day." You know what I mean? Like, this. Come on. I watch Sonic. <laughs> yeah, I watch yeah. Sonic and play with Legos and draw trains. Okay, Ross. It, it was over for me when he couldn't name a detail with the train because he should have a fucking favorite. <laughs> like, if you sit just there say, and draw trains, yeah. just say fucking F40 PH. Just, just go ahead and fucking say that. That's an easy one. See, I, don't, I would be fucking convinced by that shit. I don't know anything about trains. If you would have had any type of... Well, yeah, because if you spend that much time drawing trains, you should at least be able to, you know, name one or two of them. And like with the book, the same exact sentence, I'm pretty sure he wrote that while he was talking to us in the void. And he didn't have anything else written. Uh, yeah, I, I gotta yeah. say, when, when Kraut sends his trolls, he's not sending his best. <laughs> 
I mean, I Ross sent me the the cover to his new book. He has the cover done. By the way, somebody sent me this while we were on the air. This is, I guess, this is a tangentially uh, related to this uh, mouthy Buddha DM. I don't know if, if people have seen this. Uh, let me make it where I can read it. That's a long DM. It's quite long. Let's see how quickly I can read it. So, yeah, Tizzy and I basically wanted to have a calm talk with you to smooth things out. Tizzy is one of uh, uh, Kraut's minions. Over the course of the last few weeks, people have come to me to apologize, and I'm fine with that. Most of them have never made a video condemning me, but when it comes to you, I will only conclude with this. You are a massive coward and a truly pathetic person. I find it absolutely amazing how you turned up more than a year ago, annoying me and others over how we supposedly have to go after the alt-right, how you insisted that we have to start doing something about them. How you kept praising my fucking videos against the alt-right while you were making videos basically denying the Holocaust. How you sucked JFG, which is a JF Garapy, and Braving Ruins, cock like a pathetic little bitch. How after I shown concern for you, for your well-being during your time of crisis, you seize an opportunity when I'm down to trample on me and kick me while I'm laying on the floor, opening the floodgates and inviting others to shit on me, which they did. How you edited a secret recording of me to make me say something I didn't do. And how you try to weasel yourself out in private by complaining about how JFG just used you and by showing your DMs with Braving Ruin and to me and how he lied about you. Again, this is from Kraut. I thought it was from somebody else first. Um, no, none of that is in any way a justification for what you did and you couldn't even get your pathetic ass to apologize. I've been pondering smoothing things out for you for a while, mainly because I have friends who are friends with you. But in the end, all I can say is there's no point in doing so with a sleazy, cowardly opportunist like you whose sole drive is to squeeze attention, views, and subs out of anything by whatever means, by lying and scheming. One of these days in the near future, I'll probably take a massive shit on you, and you know exactly that you deserve it. I know. Are you sure that's really from crowd? Because I'm not noticing a lot of spelling errors. Well, that's true. Uh, I mean, look. Right? Isn't that, that's kind of weird for somebody. If you wrote that much, not to fuck up spelling at point. least 20 times. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair point, actually. He has really, ridiculous is the word that he really cannot spell no matter what. Uh, so that's true. I don't, I'm looking through. Wait, the, the guy with the f the fancy posh accent can't spell? No, he's ter He's a terrible speller. And actually, since Jim pointed that out, I'm looking through and, and it does, uh, well, pondering yeah. is misspelled, but yeah, there, you would think there would be a lot more misspellings. That's a fair point. So we'll, we'll have to take that with a grain of salt, I guess. Hmm. Add it to the pile. <laughs> That also moment the, when you suck at spelling so bad that people can tell <laughs> the DM is fake just by the spelling. Uh, also, the guy got back to me uh, for the oh for the nice. Monday Matt video. Uh, he said he wants a hundred dollar Amazon e gift card. That's what he wants. A hundred dollar e do Amazon e gift card. All right, I will send a. What is what is uh, you're gonna buy it for? I'm, I'll send the money to you that's, for that's through fun. super chat. That's uh, fine. I'll, I'll send it through super chat like tomorrow or something. What is it? They take thirty so percent. Yeah, that would I'll pay. Two. Just I'll pay the thirty percent. No, I, I'll, I'll I'll kick in half with you then. All right. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you. I'll send a hundred dollar super chat. Now through. I also told him to uh, that I was fine with that, but I, I wanted him to send the audio first because I'm not gonna like get get stiffed on it. I don't know. I don't really. And know you're who certain this guy is. it's not. You're certain it's not Monday Matt himself. Um, pretty certain. I looked up this guy's username, and it like you can see him elsewhere on the money. on the internet. Um, <laughs> pretty, he, he needs that Amazon gift card to buy baby <laughs> formula, Ralph. Come on now, <laughs> don't stiff him. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's not him. So there's a couple of screen names elsewhere. So, um, but I mean, maybe it could be. Who knows? But yeah, that was that was the offer. I, I need to hear the rest of that VidCon story because I've heard from two sources. Two different people at VidCon, the same story um, that Base Mama and Wizard were in a room together, that Matt was in there, that Wizard and Base Mama apparently fooled around, and that Matt allegedly was masturbating under the covers while this happened. <laughs> that, that sounds good. Now Very surely cool. he'll leave that part. Of, surely he'll leave the part where he's. I don't. I don't know. That's why I'm really <laughs> fucking curious to hear the rest of that audio. <sighs> that was a great tease reel. I have to say. Whoever, if that was him that cut that together, the guy that emailed me, that was a good job because it definitely piqued my interest. But I think I think that's a that's a fair deal, I guess. Um, so we'll see. What my question would be, why wouldn't Shuan had get her own room? Like she has enough money for no, a room. no, she was not, she was not sure. This. this was uh, based mama, based mama. Uh, yeah, based mama, the Kilroy organizer. Yeah, 
Yeah, don't don't. No, there's no way the alpha skeptic's gonna hang out with a lowly drag like Matt. Yeah, not gonna sleep on the fucking bed with my. <laughs> she won't even go to his party, much less hallway. sleep in the same room yeah, with I him. Think, yeah, yeah, I think at VidCon they had a suite. To be quite honest, just them. Two. Yeah, her yeah it had a little there. sign on the door that said "No Matt's allowed." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and apparently and failure was in there. Mama was the one that was feeling people's dicks on their back. Is, is that what he said? Yeah, yeah. And that's feeling what he that said. Now I had never heard. You guys had never heard that part of the leaks either, right? That was all new information. No, from, the the only things no. I, I heard from the leaks were him talking about um, armored skeptic crying at pussy, yes. and uh, the other one where he tried to shit talk Shu and say that she had the most uh, horrific and toxic community on the Candid app. Yeah, and there was one. I think there was another one where he said something about you, but those yeah, are the yeah, only, yeah. He threw a little shit talk in there, and that's probably yeah. included in there too. I, 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 again, I what I said when they initially came out was he should talk like that more. Yeah. People would probably find him more entertaining. I was a thousand percent <laughs> serious. Like that was that was pretty much what he should have done. First off, when it got leaked, but especially after the flag and stuff, he should have just came out, and just started, you know, change up his right. whole persona. Well, but, the yeah. the fake Ross stuff was fun. I'll, I'll send the money uh, through tomorrow to you on super chat, uh, and then. Um, yeah, it's just a little disappointing. He oversold it with the trains uh, thing. He ruined it. It was still, I it was fun. He's still it super was seriously fun. autistic. Oh no, yeah, I'm sure he's he's definitely has a touch of the tism, but uh, yeah, <laughs> he oversold it a little bit on that. I'll let you get to uh, hubris and the. We, it's like I think he mentioned it was like some or people were telling me it's like some weird LGBT pedo Discord thing. Yeah, yeah I don't. I still don't even know what that is all about. But yeah, some type of. Uh, I thought it had to do with blue check marks too. I, I don't know what's going on, to be honest. With of course, well, of course. When you bring up LGBT <laughs> pedos, the blue check marks aren't far from behind. All right, uh, yeah, take thanks, it easy. Man. Appreciate yep. it. Take it easy. All right. And really, I just want to say, like, she had the worst candid group. Like Monday night, Matt should just thrown down and been like, she has the shittiest RuneScape plan. She has the, she has the shittiest uh, guild on Neopets. Like, who who fucking cares? <laughs> All right. What? Uh, oh, I should I should read these super chats real quick. People were kind enough to send in. Way behind. Robert says, "Why do the shittiest people hate the alt right? Do they just hate whites or what?" Jim explained. Well, Jim was on his way out. Mephisod says, "Do a fundraiser for the Mid South Coliseum." That is a Memphis reference. Uh, Kyle Neal says, "Tell Fake Ross to turn the scat porn off for now." Obgyn Kenobi says, "Show us the Thomas Rule thirty four drawings you made." Max M says, "You're a you're a bitch. Why autism needs a cure?" Neg. Le- Negless sex says Ross on the troll scale. You're about a three out of a 10 on a good day. Submit yourself to recycling for the good of the environment. Farm master Fuhrer says, feel sorry for him. Too stupid to know when to quit. Old angry normie says Matt's accuser is more credible than calves. She didn't wait 36 years. That's true. Australian patriarchy says some old lore. Matt was the first to quit the rationalists just because just a car. I popped my pooper before age 11 criticized him once. Nothing changes. Quiet writer says obsessed with Aiden Paladin. I mean, Trey Wise says, wait, what? Three times a month talking to real people? OBGYN, that part I believe for sure. OBGYN Kenobi says, God damn you, Jim, I'm eating. He was talking about the hairball comment. Marai says, personal request, please bank, bring back hubris on when convenient. Yeah, I think he's still around. We'll probably bring him back in. Uh, Trey Wise says, I got my shirt from Ross. Lord Akira says, can we call this stream Internet Insanity Fake Ross live on stage, please? Uh, Blue Satoshi says he wants a hug box full of saccharine fart huffers. Old Angry Normie says he just needs to find a sumptuous tranny. Ken Green says fake Ross wants to turn the internet into Facebook. This communist wants further corporatization of the internet. They're all stooges. Pharaoh Owen says this is what communists are, people. This sped gets to vote. Peacefully sunset. Nerd Bane says, damn Jim, these autists are still after you for not attacking JF. Better make that video before they really mean business. Guns Down Hell says this is some gay commie gobbledygook. Internet tab says history has proven that Marx's vision of an egalitarian utopia is unattainable, inevitably creating an oligarchy more oppressive to the proletariat than the bourgeoisie it vilifies. She says autismo. Accurate. Uh, Steph I says, please ask fake Ross about his talks with Bronx blogger. Oh, God damn it. I totally forgot about that. Bronx was the one saying, oh, he's just a young kid. Da, 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 da. I completely meant to ask him about that. And it just it's totally slipped my mind. God damn it. Old Angry Normie says, didn't Shit Rat also have a crush on a lesbian? That is true. And that did not slip my mind. I just didn't bring it up. Uh, Old Angry Normie says, if Fake Ross wants to try to toss a word, word salad, inform him that Monday Matt uses wet wipes. Oh, God. 
Mirai says, ask Hubris why he got suspended on Twitter today and about certain pedo black cock worship. Blah, blah, says fake Ross didn't do nothing. Uh, Sean Hollinger says, uh, kind of getting off Ralph 10, one That is not, uh, it's not true. Uh, Farrah Owen says, LOL. This is the fucking short bust of Killstream. So much exceptionalism. Epic Yoshi says, Medica, read this. Dark side Phil, stop begging children for money and get your jo- get a job, you gout riddled coward. That would have been a good one, actually. Fuck you, Google says there is a pill that cures the transgender illness. It has been suppressed for years. A uh, pomozod, pomozod, an antipsychotic, apparently works ninety percent of the time. Jasmine Araya says the friend is himself, fake Rosa. Universal Impurity says how many dilations does it take before dead name Jane sunsets itself? Makuta Laroca says Baca, of course it's not David. Uh, Jim is low-key proud of his finger-banging moment. I don't think it's that low-key, actually. I think it's, I think it's high-key proud. All right, we'll get back to that. Uh, what else are we doing here? Is Hubert, did Hubert still want to talk about that for a minute? Oh, let's bring him back in and see. All right, bring him back in. Explain, maybe he can explain what's going on. Okay. Uh, is he still? I see he's muted. We'll see if he can. If yeah. yeah. Okay. Now what, all right, now what were you talking about? Uh, well, judging from the super chats, they want to talk about something specific. So, yes, de- depending on what you want to talk about, uh, I guess I, I mean I can I can start from the the, the bottom. I mean, if you could just do like maybe a a summary of of what you're speaking of, because I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what it's about. I, yeah, I've had a, no, yeah. no, neither neither did I. So, uh, somebody. Somebody linked me a Kiwi Farms thread of this dude. Uh, am I allowed to say the name? Like, if, uh, if it's a Kiwi Farms thread, uh, or a dude, where I have to go by the pseudonym. Just, I, I would just use the pseudonym to be safe. Okay, by a, a dude named Kate. Uh, so th- they linked this thread with a bunch of videos and stuff, and um, I started digging. And uh, this other guy that, that, that was helping me out, I can't name him, found that they, they run this Discord server, which runs a black fetishist, uh, white genocide fetishist secret channel, which you have to be invited to, of course. So, you know, obviously that in itself, you know, just being a normal white guy is uh kind of triggering until you find out that they're inviting like 13 14 15 year olds into it and indoctrinating them into this okay you 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 get a little bit more into it and once you start to get a little bit more into it uh you realize that these people who you know, th- this doesn't matter at all. This is just completely conjecture. This doesn't have anything at all to do with it. Uh, half of these people, and I'm not jo- not joking, not making this up. You can all check this up on uh, my Twitter. Uh, they're they're Jewish, <laughs> which is weird. You, you know, right? Uh, it, it's weird. Mm. Uh, so so you start to find this out i have all these this uploaded onto my dropbox that now uh it's now is there any of this we can show on air without getting the stream sunset oh yeah 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 plenty of it if you go to my uh my my twitter it's uh at uh st underscore go ahead michael but the l is an i you a hundred percent is able to, to show. Okay. Yeah. I was about to ask you what your Twitter was because you have a new one like every week. Uh, okay, no, so. I, I, in, actually in the past, in the, uh, since last Friday, I've gotten suspended five times from exposing this stuff. How have I not heard about this? Uh, it seems like people maybe have true. tried to alert me to it. I know today it was blowing up for sure. Well, you know, I was doing the charity yeah. stream and stuff, so I really didn't have much time. Right, finish, right. Yeah. You, you, you've you you've definitely been busy, so it's been a bad yeah. time. <laughs> it just but, seems uh, like this I, uh, is something I should have heard about. Like, what the fuck? Uh, okay. Right. All right. So I, uh, I, I put it in the chat. It's like uh, St. Uh, S-T underscore Mikey, M-I-C-H-A-E. 
E I and 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 you and you you're a hundred percent you can share any of my media over this. And mm-hmm. I and I know a bunch of your fans don't like me, but uh you have to respect the work I've done. Or well, look, a good story is a good story. I mean, uh, let's right. see. Um, see, and Trey uh, deleted the server even before they deleted it, right before the drama happened. They were able to close all individual links and disable invite generation. All right, now I'm looking. So what would you suggest? What about these? Vi- what are these videos? Who's this bl- blonde-haired? Uh, okay, thing? that. so that's that. that's the... The guy, uh, and this is this is something that I've warned about uh, against before, is you know, uh, it's the blonde-haired guy. Uh, the, the, just the picture of him is uh, the the twenty-year-old groomer. He lives in Florida. He paid for the flight of his girlfriend, C boyfriend, who was sixteen at the time, from the UK. Paid for the flight to come over and have uh, sodomite sex in the U.S. and Florida. Wait, wait, wait. It was the age of consent. The eight, yeah, the age of consent in Florida, seventeen. So it's international child sex trafficking, which I've got them to admit to, and I also have archive links to this as well. And uh, that's what that person. So can I play what what is happening in this video? Can I play that? What 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 is going on here? I'm just I can't if, you, if you if you play if you play the expose video, that's just like the the uh, my 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 uh, stream of what I did earlier. If you're actually going to the Dropbox link that I did earlier, you can play any of those links. Those are no child pornography, nothing. All all the all the, all the things that they, like I never clicked on anything all all the link like once once the people in the server that were like um here i'm just saying is this video uh, would it be funny to play this video if it's my stream not really no no no, i'm talking about the one with this freaky looking blonde headed headed dude would that be yeah yeah yeah, you 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 can play that you can play that now there's no listen to how 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 deep that trainee's voice is there's no nudity or anything in this right like no 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 nudity no no maybe i should Oh, All of you niggas are hard oh, to see. I mean, oh, like, I, I would, yeah, I'd go to jail if you did too. So no, I'm not gonna, not gonna post that. Okay, it was very short. He he said uh, something about basketball Americans being homosexual. Yeah, yeah, and, and uh, once you start to go into the actual chat logs, it becomes very strange. Um. What, what what if if you, if you can if you if you can screen share anything, uh, I maybe I can DM. I'll uh I'll put it in your um. What what channel is this? The Sprite Club chat. I'm gonna tag you in it. Okay. All right. So that 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 tweet is probably. Also, the, look, uh, if people want, feel free. Look, I've not had a chance to go through this, so I'm kind of learning about this yeah. on there. If you want to go yeah. through it, there's the link as well if chat wants to take a look. Um, okay. Yeah, no, a lot, a lot of the people don't like me. I'm seeing that now, but I, I get it. But uh, if you if you, if you you screen share that, everything's blurred out. Uh, it's basically admitting that they're spreading around a 14-year-old boy's nudes that they're trying to get out of them well it's not that they don't like you it's just that i think that this kind of thing isn't hard to hard to talk about and no they, they, they don't stream. they don't like me <laughs> trust no, me they, they, yeah, the, there's, there's animosity what's the going name of the person a who has a has a forum thread like what's his username what can i type into the search bar and find it the 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 two main people if you if you go back on my my timeline they've deactivated uh, they well, they still have the forum threads, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can, uh, I can pull up the Kiwi Farms thread. Hold on, just one moment. I'll. Uh... All right, so it's in the it's in the Sprite Club chat. That's what what alerted me to all of this. Now, how did you find out about? Yeah, what what? How did you find out about all this in the first place? Okay, so the the Kiwi Farms thread came about. Um, and then people that were in the DM group 
we're, we're like uh, there there is 453 screenshots that I had to go through myself uh with with my I, I actually had to take work off today <laughs> to go through them it's disgusting and <laughs> it's it's a more, to to... this is oh. more furry shit so this is like the third yes, thing I've yeah. seen in the last yeah, month right that's like right, right. The, this this is why I kind of wanted Jim to be here because like this is right up his alley you know um and 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 no offense to you guys like you know it's just it's just what well, you would expect from these people. So they started off as, and, and, it, and it's a very common thing. It's a very common thing. You know, you've seen it a million times. The Nazi furs end up turning into uh, white genocide uh, BBC fetishists. Uh, the, the pipeline has been, you know, you, you've seen it a million times, right? Obviously, that's sarcasm. But that's what this uh, this whole uh, leak is uh, displaying. Um, I understand the pin tweet I have on my Twitter. A lot of the stuff isn't able able to actually be downloaded, so I've re-uploaded onto my Google Drive, my personal my one of one of the throwaway Google drives. Who is this guy? So, Who is a Volkov? Who is that? I, I just picked that out. I'm lo- I'm looking through the thread at random. Uh, uh, a Avil- a- a- Volkov is not one of the people that's deactivated. The two main people <laughs> would be Treya and uh, Swissy, and uh, those are th- those are the two people that have actually um, been part of child sex trafficking. Uh, one of them is a 16 year old that lives in the UK, okay, which would be Treya. We yeah, we can't show we can't show 16 year olds as to. No, no there, there, yeah. there's 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 no no nudity or anything. And there's just, just to get it up yeah, there. Even the, so, the, uh, the there, name there's, the he was referencing was Alt Furry Zanadu General, and Zanadu, Zanadu was yeah X A N A D U, and that's yeah. uh, the, the starting point. Like, yeah, like this, age uh, thirty or something. This leads into something that I actually want to talk about, but I didn't get a chance either. Um, there are people on the forum. I need to double check it because I don't. I don't trust their work entirely. But they said they doxed Wolf, who is the one of the worst. He was the guy that put ants into the orifices of his dogs. The fuck? So he's apparently a guy in Cuba, and they're trying to get the Cubans to like I, I don't know, like fucking court martial him and kill him. He's a part of the Cuban like defense force or some shit. Um, I don't know what the fuck they're up to. I have to check. But there's that. And uh, somebody sent me 8.5 gigabytes of additional leaks related to the furry. And I looked through it. And unfortunately, it's not the same as the main zoo sadism uh, thing where it's like there's their friends and they trust each other, each other. This was kind of more public. And a lot of what they shared was stuff they had just collected. But it, it, it's actually indescribable in how in how awful it is. It, it was literally just gore. Like the first thing I saw was a woman taking goldfish, throwing them on the ground, and stepping on them, like one after the other. There's no sexual element to it. It was just a group of furries, uh, pretty much anonymously sharing these videos, and it, it's big and small, everything in between. It's it's really hard to stomach, and I didn't even upload it because the videos themselves are just shit they've collected. But uh, I have the messages re-uploaded, and I wanted. To get people to go go through them and before I make it public because I don't know uh, people are going to start deleting stuff because now the whole furry shakedown thing is going on so hard that I'm sure a lot of people who are into this kind of shit are starting to delete everything. Oh yeah, and that's uh, that's exactly what's happened is uh, a lot of these people have deactivated their accounts entirely. They've, they've shut down Discord servers and everything and I, I see the chat and again, Rightfully so, not happy with what I'm putting out uh, because they don't trust me. But uh, I have no reason to hide this. I have 100% transparency of what I'm putting out um, between my, my my drive, my Discord. Uh, I'll, I'll upload a mega when I'm more sober. <laughs> but um, if uh, it, it, you know, ask for something and 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 you'll receive, because these people are, uh, you know, you know what really gets me is when you're trying to indoctrinate like teens and preteens into trans transitioning to do, 
there's a, a very specific on Twitter that goes by Cosmo. They're a 20 year old left handed person. I'm sure you know what left handed stands for when it comes from the weekly sweat terms because I I don't not actually. To... I was like, why the fuck would you mention that he's left handed? Can he not become a knight for the king because he's left handed? Uh, do, am I am I allowed to say? Does anyone else know here know? I mean, just just say it. it. I, I I'm in, I'm curious. Okay. I heard fur fag, so I came running. Okay. Okay. So left handed is uh is code for Jewish. So oh, it's this twenty year old. Oh, hey, oh stop! Uh, You're anti semi. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Well, we have to worry about you know getting reported and stuff. So it's this twenty-year-old Jewish person that's uh, trying to talk to a fifteen-year-old or actually sixteen-year-old. I'm sorry, person to actually lobotomize themselves to disable their amygdala so they ha- no longer experience sexual repression and guilt and further themselves into. The, the transgender agenda and and I, and I have sc- screenshots of this as well uh i try i actually tagged you into it uh jim if you, if so you check th- your is this, uh, is this like a group of lgbt people or are these furries or yes. is it like a free lgbt thing or like what what exactly it was, are they? It, the 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 <laughs> it's a it's a long evolutional path um so so the person that started it treya uh nat hemel who have have uh, visual and uh, voice recordings of? Uh, they started as a furry. They became a uh, BBC white genocide fetishist, where they started indoctrinating preteens and and young teens into their whole agenda. But and is this all furries or or what? I I mean like they start like like you have to imagine. A young teen starting as a furry. They started. As a furry. <laughs> are, you, are you telling <laughs> me that furrydom is the gateway to to leftist insanity? Like pot's supposed to be the gateway to like hardcore. Well, well, no, 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 sort of. Like, like honestly, like in in torn in terms of like sociology, like they have no other group to belong to. They don't have a religion. They they don't have sports groups. They don't have like a, a school group to belong to. So what else are they going to be drawn to than like some obscure online group where they're going to be totally accepted towards that? And then once that's not enough, then what are they going to be drawn to? But whatever they make up. And then then once they learn that like hey I can be sort of like the the speaking voice, this sort of like leader of this group and then make it make a discord or whatever no you cut out you cut out hubris so uh mm-hmm. if you like like i'll i uh if you if you dm me i'll send you the kiwi farms thing of like their name is nat hamill uh and and this is known long before yeah because I, I i'm i'm like them yeah, I'm up to my fucking uh, knees. And no, I, I know you, you have the whole hero, oh. hero thing going on. Well, then, yeah. I mean, like, like, this, like Josh was saying earlier, like, the, whole... yeah, but I haven't even touched on the bad shit yet. Like, the animal abuse stuff is bad, but, like, he's talking about the ants up the ass shit. Then he got all the yeah, pedophilia yeah. stuff. That, that, that's, where they're that's talking about, this, like, yeah, yeah, but this, they're talking this, about, this, like, this, grooming nine year olds to, to have sex with them and sending sexy pictures to little kids and sending right. pics to nephews yeah, and shit. That's more along of these lines, but it's a totally different group of furries that were doing it. What the fuck is and, going and, on and, with that's furries? That's what I was going to say. Why is all this and, happening and, and, right now? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not like it was like like Kuro, which is like, what, he's like 30 or something? It was like a 17 and 20-year-old that were trying to get them to do this. But, <sighs> but like, yeah, exactly. I don't. I, it's just I. I don't understand. Like, like I, I'm used to seeing like a lot of degenerate shit. It just seems like there's been like a massive influx. And then, uh, uh, Josh, are you still there? Of course. Yeah. Uh, that that gay dragon, right? That I had in my video. Um, the one that was talking to Kiro, didn't didn't mm-hmm. like fucking secret chat logs with him drop where he was basically trying to say something along the lines of, "Oh, just admit to to being into zoophilia. Nobody cares. Only SJWs are bothered by it." 
Ooh, I, I vaguely know what you're talking about. I really, unfortunately, have not been able to keep up with all the Zeus Seda stuff because it's it's split apart into like seven threads now. Yeah, I know. I've, uh, been, and I've been following it fucking everywhere, and like it's shit <laughs> dropping every. And I didn't I didn't even realize that both of the fucking people that did interviews with this guy, like, have their own backstory. You know what I mean? Of no, these pe- and what happened is I, I I've talked to you about this on two separate occasions. Way back when I mentioned that the furry community was falling apart because of political divides, and he said he knew about it. And the last time we talked, which was the Hill stream, uh, I mentioned that uh, that there was more that there was worse stuff going on. And I think this is the the culmination of the furry community falling apart, and that's because uh, number one, it, it split politically. And the people who want it to be apolitical don't belong in the fandom anymore. It's the, the creepy weirdo Nazi people versus the creepy weirdo super, super, super far gone, like hyper liberal dystopian people. And those people are covering each other because it's not just uh, not just this shit. It's the guy. The guy who owns Ink Bunny is a thrice convicted pedophile. The guy who owns a uh, bad dragon and E621 and the furry network. All, that guy has his own shady backgrounds and, and creepy weird shit. And they're all covering for each other. Somebody has even told me that the conventions always set aside a room or two for like straight animal sex. Yeah. So I, I get the feeling. It. Yeah, it's going e- to be a, easy, a domino uh, effect. Yeah, I, it was an odd guy. Easy peasy was mentioning that uh, like he got information that they have like actual. I don't know what you'd call them. Petting zoos is what he called them. But like oh. places where furries would be, <laughs> no. no places where furries would go to have sex with animals. They pay. They had their own like establishment. Petting zoo. Did you come up with that, or is that the term no, that no, they use? No, that's what that, 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 that's a legitimate name. Oh. Yeah, and it, it makes sense. It makes sense that that's the shit that they're into, and because they do, they do go to these conventions. And I, I stress, I stress again that if you are a furry and you patronize these these economies, these ecosystems by donating to your artists on Ink Bunny or whatever, you're 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 funding this shit. You need to find something else. It's fervor. It's fucking done. I'm not going to have any sympathy to anybody who calls themselves a furry anymore. Because if you are a part of this shit, you're guilty by association. And then I have no remorse in saying that. It's weird, you know, like they. Furries used to get a lot of shit, and rightfully so. And it, it feels like when the brony movement came along, everybody got so angry at that, they stopped focusing on the furry shit and forgot. And like now yeah. it's all kind of catching up, you know what I mean? Like those years of not paying attention, then everybody's like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, they, they, they were in the shadows for about a decade. And now that the light is creeping, it's daytime again. The sun has turned all the way around the earth, and it's fucking shining right on them. And they have become complacent. And and open with how fucking horrible they are, and they they have not bothered to hide their tracks. Well, no, it's not that. It's a uh, cockroaches scatter when the light is sh- shown upon them. This is this is like you know, like Bible one hundred and one, uh, and all these people are fucking disgusting. That whether whether or not it's like what Jim is exposing or what I'm exposing, and <sighs> that's. That's like, like to, to give you an example. But it's, it's never just like one, that. though, right? Like, I mean, that's what that's what's fucking me no. up. I think. If, if that's what it's called, kind of like a mind fuck. It's never just one flavor of degeneracy. No. It's all and of them. No, can't, they can't just be a, a crazy, like fucking hormone taking tranny or a furry or a pedophile. They have to be all of them at once. Yeah, because they no. get bored with it. It's their no. lives. I, these people well, are like sex obsessed, and they get no, bored it, with it. Yeah, their, their per- perversion takes over their their lives. To give to give you an example, I've been suspended on five Twitter accounts since Saturday. Like, it's, it's like what Josh said though. They get to one level of perversion. They get uh, you know inoculated to that. They see that desensitized to that all the time. And then what's the only thing for them to do to get you know to get their, their and because they're in to group, go to the next level. And then you end up at pedophilia by the time they're done because that's the you know the most taboo thing. That's why, in particular, in the zoo sadism links snake thing, the guy who actually linked it is to me one of the worst because he was. He was like comforting. No matter how bad it got, no matter what people showed him, he reacted with the the oh whoa hearts cute like uh, the, the the colon three like cat face emoji. Like he was all about it. You could not you could not scare him away, and he was always happy to to compliment whatever the fuck you were doing. Who, who was the guy in the zoo sadism links? There there was one of them. I can't remember the name, but he was actually convicted of like a sex crime. He somehow got his record expunged. 
And then he went right back into it, talking about wanting to fuck nine year olds. I know who you're talking. I think that might actually be Snake Thing. I'll pull it. Up I, how does that happen? How do you go out and do like this shit? Get your record fucking expunged, and then go right back into it. Well, you can't cure a pedophile. Well, it's it's such like a lack of impulse control. Like he, it, it's uh, somebody he, in the thread I think said something like this. This guy, it makes me the most worried because he obviously doesn't fucking care about the consequences. He's already gone through prison and he just doesn't care. Well, a rational person would say, look, I just got away with something huge. Maybe I should, you know, chill out on that. But like like Josh said, I mean, these people are so sick. Hey, that fucking guy, the guy doing, I recognize this fucking guy because he looks like Rich Evans. Uh, Jim <laughs> Rozulski. He's one of the zoo sadists. And that's why he's doing the fucking interview where he yeah, says, I, the guy I, know, that's, farms. I fucking noticed what? that after I did the video. <laughs> I noticed this fucking thread after the video. Uh, he's yeah, he's the fucking neutral party in the story. The guy that has a fucking thread who can't even say the name Kiwi Farms without his voice fucking breaking. Yeah, and, and yet, that's the and guy yet, who can he, give the interview. Yeah, he bitched about Kiwi Farms putting his information up, and yet he went after somebody and created a fucking domain to link their information uh, from Kiwi Farms directly. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a redirect. It's a fucking redirect from his own fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and they they do it and that's the thing because i'll even have it where a guy who is clearly a furry will join the forum he'll post everything he has it's good content it's fucking hysterical and then i get a, a, a talk to staff message or somebody email, emails me and says i know who that is and i got the journal on him and what what can i say like nigga post it what the fuck are you doing to keep them to yourself and they they're they're fucking like the the i looked at the statistics recently for the forum, <laughs> and I'm I'm checking the uh, the numbers for all the different boards. Everything's kind of static. Everybody's like it's maintaining, it's treading water. Except animal control, our furry board has been doubling in activity every fucking month. So these people are going ape shit on each other, and I I'm sensing it. It's the end times for the furry community. We're witnessing the end. No, well, yeah, I, I, I I I hope so. I don't think so though. I, I, I don't know. They keep dropping shit on each other, though. I, I mean, they, they're going to keep exposing each other for petty revenge until none of them are left standing. Hopefully, uh, that's a the, that's a big hope. My <laughs> thought was that the furries they got into the community because it's just some weird shit. They're into the fucking cartoons. They think animals are cute, and then they literally put on a mask. And whoever you were before that mask did not matter. It doesn't matter what race you are, where you're from, what your religion is, what your politics are. You put on the fucking mascot costume and you're a cool cat and you're going to save the kids and it's okay. And everybody's okay with each other. Now it's not that it's a political thing. Like everything else is, and they don't have that sense of anonymity and they don't have that sense of community. And it's hey, fucking wait, 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 uh, Ralph, I got a great, I got a great idea for your show. Okay, hear me out. Just hear me out. Let me right, give you the pitch, okay? Because you're into journalism, investigative stuff. Yes, yes. Why not? Why don't you create the position of the uh, Killstream Kitty, <laughs> and you send somebody undercover to fur conventions to see what they can find. Just dress them up like a mm. cat and send them in with a camera and uh, start seeing if we can find like these back rooms and these weird fucking... The Killstream you know, Kitty is The Killstream <laughs> Kitty, yeah. I got I it. Like we'll send idea. in Corin. Dressed as a cat. <laughs> nah, she, she can. She would she'll fuck blunder it up. her way into a rape room with a fucking horse. And now no the time. person we pick has to be. I mean, they have to be good and legit, though. I, I think there's a lot of people that would probably do this. Well, imagine what you could find, dude. Like, imagine how paranoid oh, they would get. I would do it, but you, you don't need to. Uh, look at uh, what's the the Sprite Club Club chat? Th this is this is after. Four hours of leaking stuff. They're willing to out each other like this, like like they they get so scared so quickly that uh, you just have to promise to link. Uh, oh yeah, I'll bleep your name out, and and you throw everyone else that you're involved with under the bus. Well, that's happened just now with the wolf because the people like it's, again, exactly. I'm not too I'm not too set certain on on Wolf and what people are trying to do with him. I don't know if the information is correct, but somebody said they found him. They figured out who he was in Cuba. They found out that he was a part of the Cuban military, and they said if you don't tell us who the other zoo sadists are, we're going to send mail to all your neighbors, telling them what you do to your fucking dog and how you torture it. And they said that he started dropping shit immediately, fucking instantly. 
and again, I, I can't I can't condone that because that's to me that's extortion and that's a crime. But no, I mean, extortion means you you have something to gain from it. No, it doesn't. Not legally in the United States, extortion. Even if they don't believe, even if it's not possible for you to do what you're threatening, if you make a threat and expect something in return, that's extortion. And what they're doing is they're right, so, right. That's what I. That's what literally just what I said. If you have, they're trying to, to get docs from. They're trying to say, if you don't do this for us, we will do we will do this in return and hurt you. No, you, that, it, it, it is, as soon as, as soon as you get any sort of this information, and you and you don't bring it to any sort of law enforcement, you're you're kind of a piece of shit, dude. Well, it's in like, Cuba. Like it's, they don't it, have it, animal cruelty laws in Cuba. Okay, <laughs> then why am I talking to you? Like I live in I live in a, a, a an actual country, not like if some you fucking, fucking third drink world. And you'd be able to follow the conversation, bro. I'm telling you, the worst one in the Zoo Sadist League is in Cuba, and that's who we're talking about. And I'm t- confirming <laughs> that when you put them into an awkward situation, they will turn on each other instantly. Okay, uh, when you uh, when you have actual roads and like you know, like internet and stuff, then then I'll I'll consider maybe what you to say matters. But until then, he's not in like, Cuba. Like, it's a, exactly. It doesn't fucking matter. But he's like, saying the like, person is in Cuba, not he himself is in Cuba. Okay, so 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 what so what am I gonna do about it? Tweet about it? Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe. I don't know, mate. You should probably drink some Gatorade and take a nap right now. <laughs> no, no, I I shouldn't. I should care about stuff that I can actually like you know do stuff about. You know, I think that makes a lot more sense than like compare about shitty third world countries where they have to get a usb drive to get if you were listening you would know that i'm telling you that they turn on each other and this guy in cuba is turning on people in his community i'm literally telling you people that are turning on people in an actual first world country where you can alert the fbi and be like hey this this 20 year old eating now is uh, uh mashed potatoes Oh you God. want some? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> uh, I'm in a I'm in a first world country where you can actually report this stuff to the FBI instead of doing like you know dumb like live streams where it's like this guy is in a third world country and you have to go through these these channels to actually report this stuff. Like no, all the stuff I'm reporting, you can actually send these people to you know prison. Like they can actually receive, you know, uh, I don't know, consequences for what they're doing instead of like, you know, the people that are trying to go to like uh, Cuba and uh, and avoid internet, like avoid U.S. law. I got you. I got you. Because like that, that's way more outside of like the reach out of of a YouTube channel. All right, he was. Thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you. (laughs) That was a bit too. <laughs> that nigga was that nigga was eating mashed potatoes least laced with something. Some fucking LSD, some fucking pot. <laughs> that was the spiciest mashed potatoes ever eaten. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, uh, look, I, I mean it's, like, it's worth it's, it's worth trying to learn some of No, I like him. I like him. It's, it's whatever. I think he's I think he was he was getting he was getting, he was getting he was getting close to he was getting close to Ralph level uh, on Saturday night. Man. Like, uh, yeah, he needed the hook to come out and mercifully sunset him. But no, I, well, like, I don't I know why he was. I'm not sure why he was getting into it with you. Uh, that's what I didn't really understand. But. I don't think he uh, understood. Yeah. <laughs> like, he admitted he was like super drunk. So yeah, uh, like you know, people people put in work, and sometimes like usually they're fucking weirdos. The people that do the most work are, are usually weirdos, and I hope I hope he gets what he's going for, and I hope like I don't know, I don't I don't particularly agree with extorting people, but if they're doing it, I can't stop them. He's having a sumptuous evening, a very sumptuous. <laughs> but I mean, back to the important thing. How's that Killstream Kitty sound to you, Ralph? I like it. I see people in, in <laughs> the uh, in the Spike Club are already volunteering to do this. And I'm telling you, that's some that's some top level shit. Imagine the fucked up shit they do behind closed doors. You could you could be the exclusive expose on that. Well, just look at the shit that you see that comes out, and you know, without them trying to hide it. Imagine, uh, we talked about the oh my god, petting zoo. The shit that's legit. What with, they call with it? Foam oh, and animals, yeah. just everything. Yeah. And we we have to yeah. get them. We'd have to get them a first. I mean, it'd have to be convincing, right? We couldn't. They have to. Oh, they have to know what they're talking about. So could it be uh, a raccoon suit. 
Yeah, cone. It either have to be. Well, we could. We obviously couldn't say what it was on air. We, we're using kitty for the code word. Now it could be a kitty. It could be a dog. Whatever. I, I want it to be the most retarded animal. Like what one do they not? <laughs> <laughs> they, like a retarded oh, horse or something. That that. that yeah, no, I got it. You you know that the the fucking thing from My Little Pony that has it looks like a really fucked up animal, like all slammed together. Uh, no, it's called Discord. That's right. It's, 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 I think Discord is actually named after it. The fucking oh no! <laughs> that would be perfect. There you go. And we got to get a ca- we had to get a camera though. You know, like no, you, you mount it in the fucking head. Yeah, it's that's perfect. what I'm saying. Yeah. Right through the eyes. holy shit ralph you could put a little speaker in there and then surprise them (sighs) like record them and you know and stream it secretly and then when you (laughs) when you catch them doing something be like surprise motherfucker you're on the kill stream (laughs) not gonna know what's going on don't 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 say that it might put you in the (laughs) it might put you in the petting zoo to stay there's seriously been like five or six people already volunteering. There's more for this. now. They're like, I'll do it. I'll now, do it. What's a big. I, I'm not this up on their culture. Oh, well, we, uh, what, we need to find big, like the name of all their dumb little fucking go, Yeah, go what's a. If you go now, to the wait, was it the, wasn't the Carol dude talking about there's one coming up that he wasn't allowed to go to? I saw that in your video. If you go to the. There's um there's Euro. Euro Furence or whatever, the big one in Europe. And then there's also. um. There is another one coming up in the U.S. But what was the name, Jim? You'd called it out. You might not remember, but it was in your video. The ones that I forget was some conference said they didn't want him there. Um, oh, uh, WAPFA. Yeah, uh, WAPFA. I knew it started with a W. That, that's not a big one. Though. Okay, but yeah. okay, okay. Is that okay. specifically because he fucks animals? Yeah, no, they yeah. they released a statement. And, and if you read the third paragraph down, they're like, yeah, we believe in charity for animals and all this. And then at the very bottom, you and it, I know it's addressing Kiro because it's the same day that his video came up saying he wouldn't go there. Uh, and it said, we will not allow anybody that abuses or associates with people that abuse animals to attend this convention. They're they're banned from the premises. No, that's because he got caught, though, right? Like, Well, yeah, I think I think that might just be because he got caught. But. Oh, I mean, if you're going to send people to the European one, I mean, V probably needs a new a new <laughs> dawn, right? Because that's, he, he, that's, it. Dawn. that's our ticket. Yeah, I mean, get V, get send V in to do the European ones. He would do it just for the attention, just for a pat the on redemption the head. arc. <laughs> yeah, just scratches, uh, scratches nose or something. I don't know. What is he like a dog? What is his fursona? What did, I don't know. What was his former? I know he's talking about it before. I'm not sure what his uh, you know fursona is though, or what. I mean, I guess he said was, but no idea. Yeah, it was. was a dinosaur. Oh, what was, is going right, on? Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a wink. By the way, Hubris is still talking about Cuba in the Discord. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why, but if we, if okay, just so really you know, um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Cuba has laws against animal cruelty. But I mean, if he gets like court martialed because he's a member of the military, they might just fucking shoot him. Which you know, I'm not going to complain about. Huck him in the Is ocean. He, he, <laughs> 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 he, he was the worst. I haven't read through. I actually haven't even read through all of them. But Wolf was the worst that I've seen. I think it was the worst that everybody else had seen too. We don't even have everybody yet. I think we've got like maybe six out of nine. But. Uh, so Not many of them were really into the, the pedo yeah. shit too, which is so like it wasn't just the animal abuse and shit, but no, like cubs. It, yeah, and talking. I mean, talking about real kids. Like one guy was talking about sending dick pics to. It was one dude dating a woman, and he was talking about helping the other guy seduce her son, and he was like nine. What? And like, yeah, and I know what you're talking. There's a picture of them together. They're like in the lazy boy, and he's got the kid like on on his lap or to the left of him, sandwiched between him and the chair. It's just it's he said something like, him. you know, he and- said he was like sending pictures of the guy's dick to the kid. Yeah, yeah, that that was their their uh, what? It's not Discord, it's Telegram or whatever the fucking thing they used was. Yeah, Telegram. <sighs> Funnily enough, in the uh, the the Animal Gore leagues, which I've not parsed through yet, and I'm having people help me with. Um, I'm not even going to upload any of the image content with it because it's just it's completely irrelevant and senseless, and they don't even do it themselves. It's just shit that they collect and, and slosh around between each other. But um, they were talking about the makeup of the channel and how most of the people in it were furries. 
And one guy even joked and said, well, of course they're all furries. It's Telegram. It might as well be renamed OOgram at this point because the only people who use it are furries. So, well, yeah, yeah. And then did, did you see the shit with the Telegram uh, that made uh, fucking Kiro's story even stupider? Uh, apparently Telegram hasn't been available in Iran for eight fucking months. It's banned. <laughs> <laughs> so they, there's no way hackers from Iran could have done it. They can't use the fucking service. It's completely shut off. Yeah, his his story was blatantly bullshit from the very beginning. And everybody, I think everybody who immediately defended him needs to be looked into. By the way, like, V's in the V is in the chat water. right now. I don't know if you guys saw that, but ask him if he wants to be our undercover fur fag in Europe to do this uh, the Kitty Kill Stream expose. He has to ask for the petting zoo. He he wants the full experience. I mean, should we bring him on real quick and ask him? I know we're over Tom already, but... Might yeah. as well. Right. Yeah. I mean, we might as well at this point. That's true. All right, let me, let me make the window go away real quick, just in case. All right, I'll send him the link. We'll see. Oh, what does this turn into? All right. You this want to take one last guess? Rabbit hole ever. Wait, uh, oh, what, what it is? We'll take, yeah, on what his fursona is before he tells us when we ask him. Uh, what do you, what do you it's think? a husky. 100% it's a husky. Penguin. Dragon. <laughs> um, Iguana. I was thinking something lizardy. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with a, a kitty cat because, uh, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> v, v, uh. Oh, that is video. Is he Sorgon's lap cat? It is the cat. You didn't see the cat video, Josh? No. Oh. <laughs> is it really being in a cat suit? No, it's not him in a cat suit. It's him with his cat. Squeezing the cat. <laughs> it's one way of putting it. <laughs> it's literally what it is. Yes. By the oh, way, V man. V came through and he did send the money he said he was going to send the other night uh, for St. Jude. So yeah, I saw I that. Good on wanna, him. I just want to repeat that. There's Good V. All right, let's see if he'll. V, you're muted. There yeah. you go. Hey, gentlemen, how's it going? Hey. V, First, have we we got a fun adventure for you. I heard. Before we start that, what was your fursona back in the day? Well, people haven't tried finding it. I said that the person who finds it, I'm, I'm going to say his name on my live stream. Um, is it a husky view? No, it's not a husky. But uh, I, I don't want to spoil the magic. Oh, it's come like on. a treasure oh. hunt on the internet. You oh, need to find it. No. Narrow it down. Is it an other kin or a furry? Are we looking for scales or fur? All right, I'll, I'll narrow it down. It's scales. It's oh, a, it's, it's, it's I see, I see. Ralph was right. I told you something scaly <laughs> has to be. That's that's a good guess, Ralph. I'm just kidding. Just okay, well, we need it to be a secret anyways, because when V, we're going to strap a camera on you, a hidden camera, and we're going to send you to Euroference, and you, you've got to ask for the petting zoo. And if you catch these people fucking animals on camera, we will pay you. We'll pay you many shekels. No, we'll pay him anyway, but... Well, the problem with this is that people kind of know who I am, especially in the furry community. But I can, get you, some, I, I can get you oh, someone on the inside. I was say, you? maybe he knows someone. How well do they know you, V? Well, I've been making streams with to the Ranting Griffins. I got the Alt Furries, uh, the, the Furry Raiders on my stream, so they probably know who I am. Um, but I, I can uh, definitely get you someone on the inside if you want to do something like that. Wait, do you mean yeah. your voice is too recognizable that they would instantly know who you are even in costume at one of these conventions? Um, who, mm. who squeaks more than me, Jim? I mean, do you, do, do you, have, have you heard someone with, with a more squeaky voice than me? So was Ralph right? Are you a dragon or was I right? Are you a snake? I'm not going to confirm or deny it. You need to find out. Come I'm on, just, it's on I'm the trying internet. To it's you, out there. I'm trying to picture you slithering around. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just say it. I'll, I'll just say it this way. I'm definitely not a snake. I I don't believe. I think he's. I got it. I nailed it. You're a but, snake. But I, I, I got a I got a question for you, Jim. How do you know about Uncle Kage? How wouldn't you? He's he's one of the voices that's well known within the furry community. If you've covered any of these furries or any of the shit that they do. His name is repeatedly brought up. Uh, right. It seems like they either hate him or they like him. Uh, like they're divided on it because he's one of the people that goes to conventions and says, please stop acting like fucking degenerate assholes. You're making us all look bad. Well, I understand he's, uh, I believe on Furcon, he's one of the organizers and uh, he constantly votes against the far left, which is why they, they hate him so much. I, I don't know. Sh I don't know shit about his politics. I just know that he was the guy that would give speeches about please stop wearing leather gear in front of the media cameras, 
and stop humping each other in hotel lobbies. <laughs> well, I, I can bring you up to speed a little bit. It makes sense. I, I can bring you up to speed a little bit because I've been following the uh, subversion from Antifa regarding the furry fandom. It's almost entirely uh, corrupted. Wait, like what? their entire leadership is either Antifa, they're supporting Antifa. Um, you got fur affinity, you got Dragoneer, who is openly vouching for uh, Antifa. And this is why you keep seeing people uh, trying to get some uh, others fired or they're, they're uh, being outraged on the Twitter constantly. Um, th th this is basically what they're trying to do. They're co-opting, you know, people who just sit at home all day on the computer, yiffing or whatnot, and they're using them as online activists. Um, like, you, you will notice this. Every time there's some scandal coming up, you'll see furries that are bitching and complaining. You, you must have noticed the pattern by now. Well, what, I, what, I, what I've been noticing is like, it, it's it, this has gone beyond like just weird, weird shit. Fee. I mean, like it's getting into territory of fucking corpses of animals and molesting kids. And it's a lot of it. It's not just a few. Yeah, because the far left is that fun. shit. No, the far left encourages that shit. I mean, they, they have a furry convention for children, if I'm not mistaken. Like, there's pictures of that. If you what? want, I can bring one up. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, you better fucking bring it up. Oh, hold up. I'll bring you it up. You well. can't bring that up in passing comment. No, I'll, I'll bring it up if you want. Like, ever since the far left took uh, control of the furry leadership, they're encouraging more and more degeneracy. I mean, it, it existed back in the yeah, day, but it was heavily suppressed. I mean, let me see if I can find it. It's like I said, in Euroference, they released the thing. The guy who organized Euroconference or whatever, he said, if you're a Trump supporter, if you're on the right, do not come to Euroconference. And Euroconference yeah. is the oldest still-running Euro or, or uh, furry convention in the, in the world. It's one of the oldest, and it's partisan. And if uh, Anthrocon in the U.S. is partisan, there is no like vetted uh, furry conference in, in the world left that's not political. And that, and they're fucking crazy, and they're eating each other. And the ones on the left, in particular, seem to be covering each other's asses in regards to fucking animals and kids. Look at the article I just gave you in the picture. No, wait. What is this? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Parents, me... no furries. That sounds. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna. Uh, okay. All right. I see it. Um. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sick. I apologize. Um, should I what? Should I read some of this or? Yeah, 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 it's fine. The media often portrays the furry fandom in a negative light. A huge number of parents accept this information, making them wary about the fandom. Uh, this is the reason why young oh, teens may find it hard to come out in the open and tell their parents that they are part of the fandom. Spreading awareness plays a very important role in helping others understand furries much better. Let us look at some points parents need oh, to know why, about. Why does this sound like it's every article ever written about any weird <laughs> yes. niche thing, right? If this was the trans community, the gay community, it's the same wording you'd hear with every article about exposing your kids to this wonderful new world. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the, we're, we're talking about people who are fucking in the hotel lobby. It is, it, yeah. you, know, you know, it's like talking about the BDSM community and saying it's okay if your 12 year old comes out in favor of the BDSM community. No, wait, they compare it to comic books, movies, gaming. <laughs> They are, however, enthusiasts about anthropomorphic uh, animals and carry their fascination with them as they grow older. A common misconception about furries is that they are often attracted to a sexual fetish. See, how to prepare for anal sex. That is another article on this. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. What? Swear to God. What the fuck? I mean, let me give you something from Vice. You know, maybe, maybe that one is a little bit... Dee, is this satire? Is this a fucking joke? Okay, here, I gave you one from Vice, if you want. If you don't believe the first source. <laughs> wait, 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 Ralph. The, the article about parenting your children to become furries links to an article about how to take yes. it up the ass. It says, see how to prepare for anal sex, and that's uh, lovepunks.co. <laughs> <laughs> that's where it's right next yeah, to it. The next to oh it. Parentheticals. It's like a fucking comedy sketch. It's comedic perfection. And well, I gave you something from Vice if you don't All right, I'll pull it up in a second. Let me read this last sentence, though. Furry oh conventions are a great place to learn more about furries, and attending one with your children can help you better understand the fandom as a whole. Yes, bring I your think kids. The, I think the sentence preceding that could better help you understand the fandom. <laughs> when it follows up, introduce your kids to furries and how little Billy can take it up his poop shoot. <laughs> and, and you also have a picture with a kid at a furry convention. I asked other furries that was legit. 
Yeah, no, it reminds me of those those like things you see on pole, the little kids at the gay pride parade looking at guys in assless chaps. It, it gives you kind of <laughs> it, sick, oh my, it really does. The Spice Holy article shit. says how the furry community became a safe space for youth. For teens who feel isolated or ostracized, the furry community is a place where they can come out and be themselves. You require more Vespin gas. <laughs> but see, that's that's what I was talking about. That maybe that was true at some point, but now no. it's not. Now it's no. like this close it was never to a thick shit. No. Back in my <laughs> day. This is no <laughs> Back in my day, the common sense furries would stamp on this shit. They would be like, no, this is 18 plus. Absolutely not. But now that the far left is in charge, they're like, oh, no, it's okay. Bring your kids. That's fine. Just, you know, just get, get your kids you're, you're, you're getting back some social credit with Chad. <laughs> is he our furry? Man on the inside. No. V, how, pro- deep how, 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 of how, how prolific is this? Like, how uh, honestly, how bad is it in the furry community? How many of them are really into animal fucking and kid shit? If uh, you really, give it a number, just a percent. Yeah, well, uh, again, when I was in the community, this was stamped out. Like, if you were caught doing any of that thing, you would be banned from every furry chat. You Like, no one would want to associate with you. Nowadays, I don't fucking know. Um, I, I know a lot of furries are leaving the fandom because of your videos, and they're saying that's fucking disgusting, and they don't want to have anything to do with it. They but then there's other people that are heavily defending it, and, and, and they were, like, willing to do absolutely anything. It's like you said in our video, they're willing to die on this anthill. Man, you gotta get out. V. I don't know anything about you, V. I don't have any ill will towards you, man. Get oh, I, monster I girl, for, man. I, I got out for years. I used to be a furry. I'm not so, what made you that. leave? What made you leave it? Real life sex. <laughs> <laughs> but I still know people on the inside. I still talk with some of the people that I used to know. And, Bro, uh, if, that, if you yeah. can get evidence of this. I don't know, man. I, I will, I will, I'll hook you up. You'll have one eternal favor. Well, which one do you want? Children at Furcon or like them fucking animals? It, it, them fucking animals. I for think sure. I'll pick the okay. <laughs> kid to the picture. <laughs> what a choice! God, what right. <laughs> I'll, I'll is happening? And, and I'll tell you this from what I know. That maybe things have changed, but back in my days, they would have never fucked animals at a hotel. Um, if they were to do something like this, it would be like a subgroup of furries doing it somewhere private. Like it, most of the people there would be up for it. I just want you to know because this is going to be recorded. This is going to be clipped. This is going to be passed around. Sure, we're, we're gunning for you. We got V. We got we got a man on the inside. We got the the gypsies are fucking after you guys. You got to be careful. If you fuck a dog in a hotel, we're going to know about it. Well, I'll just say this, right? Like any any of you guys that got fucked by the far left, by Dragoneer, but by some of the new furry establishment that are very political, if you want to get back at them, if you want to fuck them, bring some evidence for it. And we want to do the undercover op too. This is exciting. I feel like this is going to lead to good shit. (laughs) The fall is shaping up to be... Uh, I, I guarantee the fall there is somebody out there right now who has something spectacular that they are itching to share with the world. My email is null at kiwifarms.net. You can email me whatever the fuck you want. I will look at it. I promise you. Ink. Tons of dick. Oh, wow. This is a Vice article. A furry convention welcomes Syrian refugees' families to Canada. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, no. I'll post it. Of course, because now they got access to little boys that can't speak the language. Of course, they <laughs> oh. love it. A number of refugees oh, got a surprise. At look, look at the pictures in that Vice article. Holy shit! Oh no! <laughs> the kids fucking loved it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's a literal quote, by the way, on the Vice article. Is that real? Yes, that's is literally that real. What's, yes, that article is oh. real. Why don't God. people believe me? Every single time I'm telling the truth, people think I'm trolling. I, I legit tell you. Oh my <laughs> God, V, what the fuck? Vancouver, <laughs> Vancouver by the way, the name of their convention is Vancouver. Attendees wearing fursuits greeted enthusiastic children from some of the Syrian families with hugs and posed for photos with them. <laughs> 
could you imagine? <laughs> could you could you imagine crossing an ocean with no money, <laughs> and you get to a new country, and the first thing that happens is some fat dude in a fox suit fucks you in your ass? <laughs> well, this is supposed to be the promised land, you know, the West, you know, the land of oh, freedom oh, and democracy. Look, look at this one! Look at this one! Holy shit! I'll just read the title. Trudeau's master oh, plan. Furry convention of unacceptable adults scars one hotel guest cheerleading children for life. <laughs> Oh, this is from Gawker. <laughs> it's back from 2013. This is an old one, though. You know, back when they had common sense and the media would have just automatically praised furriness. And say, yeah. Oh, how far we've fallen in five years, V. I'm not sure My you folks... Curve. Let me read this. I'm not sure if you folks know what a furry rave is. A regular rave is a party where folks dance, drink, party, and do their drugs. A regular rave would have been unacceptable then a furry rave included more lewd and lascivious behavior along with the other factors included in a regular rave apparently he was pissed that his kids had to witness this up which i don't i don't blame him I don't, I don't. oh yeah turn your fur friends in before they turn you in it's happening this is the day this is the night of long knives you got to be ready you got to get the jump you got to get the jump yeah it's all coming out you might as well get them before they get you the old prisoner's dilemma yeah just stick that fucking knife straight in there (laughs) the fall of furries someone in chat said the night of the long horse dicks (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Somebody earlier said instead of confiscate confiscate their coats like you usually play gator, confiscate their goats. That's what I... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, oh! Before before we, I guess we're gonna head for home here soon. V, they wanted me to ask you about your about your poor cat. Oh, the the <laughs> video you played. Yes. The funny thing is, is that I I wasn't squeezing it hard. It's just like if you applied the little touch, it would make that sound, and that's why I found it fun. Okay. I, I know listen it sounds. To the, as... Listen to the furry talking about how funny it is to make the cat <laughs> scream. Okay. No, I, I I'm serious. It was just a very light squeeze. It, it wasn't uh, as bad as it sounded. I don't even know how to phrase this. You better be telling the truth, V, because we're on to you now. Oh. We're on to you. All right. They just, they just I, I'm looking for things from Furcon, and, and you get all these questions from parents. Is a furry convention a good place for kids? Yahoo answers. My son is a furry. What should I do? <laughs> Euthanize him. Get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> get a new one. <laughs> that fucker. <clears throat> if you notice the family dog limping, it's time to put him down. Okay, somebody sent me a, a thing from uh, Kothrix Nashiri. I don't know if I can pronounce it. Oh, it's the blue dragon guy, the gay blue dragon guy. So this is a quote he said. I think you mentioned this. He said, uh, Zosh is right anyway. Like 20% of the furry community are zoo pals. Everyone in the furry community knows this and doesn't really care. People outside the community think all furries are zoo pals anyway. The only people who are upset by it are moralizing social justice warrior fucks. Trust me, you aren't losing much by having them hate you. Yeah, so it basically, it's okay. We we all know we, that you guys like fucking horses and dogs and shit. And the only one bothered by that are uh, SJWs. Well, didn't you see the furries fighting fascism sway of articles in the mainstream media? I I don't know. I, I my my brain is melting at this point from listening to this know. shit. Man, I'll, it, I'll, it, send, it, I'll oh. send a couple if you want. Oh God, what are you? Uh, how do you have all this at the ready? Uh, because I already made streams about it. Okay, I already okay. tried informing people about it. Uh, oh, yeah, we did. We watched one of your videos about it the other day, actually. Where you're talking about it. Uh, even furries are wanna, fighting fascists. Yes. Just going to throw the invitation out there. V. If you ever want to make a forum account and start posting some stuff, you know, the, the options there. It's a 24 uh, 7 facility. You can join anytime. Now he's probably already got an account. I'm not hearing a denial there. Yes. Look, look, look at this one. Does the furry community even answer it? Just moves on. To something else. Yeah. I don't. I don't need an answer. It's already known. You're, you're, you're trying to break my cover. I need to be uh, smart about it. 
Well, once you found out you're bad for life, uh, this one is from the Rolling Stones. Does the furry community have a Nazi problem? So apparently the leadership of the furries, they made a blacklist of people who are Nazis. As I understand it, uh, there, there are around 400 known uh, Nazis in America, right? They, they're being kept by uh, the, the watch websites. So if they found a thousand people blacklisted. That means that every Nazi in America must also be a furry. Well, that's, I think the the FBI standard for what a furry is is a little bit stricter than what the uh, just wearing a fucking paw swastika armband thing. But yeah, no, How do you it's, even uh, get into I'm this? Not... Just look at this photograph. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't you want to join that community, Ralph? It's just strange. Like, I don't know. It's oh, just weird. Well, take comfort in the fact, Ralph, that you know over the next year after your kid and kill stream stuff goes on. When another furry looks at one of those masks, they'll never know if there's a camera behind the eye. They'll all be paranoid for the rest of time. Oh, yeah. Put a camera anywhere on that fucking suit. Anywhere. We could put one on the dick. Are we going to check for it? You know, do cross inspections for cameras? You can't, you can't hunt us down. You can't hey, did find you guys hear about the, the furry fatwa? No, I did not. Okay, so there's this guy, Foxler, and he likes to role play as, a, I believe, a Nazi fox. He's got, like, this armband with a pow and everything. Um, I've so, heard of Foxler. I did. I have yeah. heard of Foxler. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. So he, he's a little bit controversial, right? Uh, and apparently, he was denied access from a convention because they said they can't guarantee his safety. And, and uh, from rumors are like, uh, I'm trying to get Foxler on my street to talk about this. He said if he goes there, people will kill him. And I'm like, hmm. So so basically, there's a furry fatwa on his head. You you, you well, can't get yeah, more. That's <laughs> What? Is, yeah. Did he try to go into one of the, the, the left leaning conventions? Because they're the, all I mean, the left leaning provide. conventions. There, there are no yeah, more yeah. non left leaning conventions. That's what my friend was saying. Uh, Anthrocon is yet to to say if they put rules like a conference has, but uh, she expects them to. And after yeah. that, there will be no more conventions left that are. I understand that they tried to start the non leftist convention, like some of the furries tried to uh, start their own shit. Uh, the far left protested until it got shut down. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm actually, you know, I, I don't, I like to look and not touch, but like, I would like these conventions, these hotel centers that are hosting this shit to know that these people fuck animals. And they're probably going to fuck animals, like within the, the perimeters of the, the, the conference. Man, if the far left keeps encouraging them to be as degenerate as possible and out in the open, uh, <coughs> I, I, I suppose, but again, like, th don't most of these states in the uh, in your country have laws against fucking animals? Uh, yeah, I believe yeah. all fifty states have that law. Yeah. No, not all fifty. Wait, what? It's, uh, you're you're Gucci in Wyoming and West Virginia. Okay. In well, fact, in fact, the Mundo, I think it is West Virginia where it is legal to fuck a dog, record yourself fucking a dog, huh? and then. Sell videos of yourself fucking the dog and to possess the videos of you fucking the dog. There's like different levels. In some states you can't fuck dogs. Some states you can't sell your videos or you can't record Country it. Country roads. <laughs> Do we know the uh, tourism rate between West Virginia and Canada? I know <laughs> up there they're loving those new laws about horse fucking. Uh, I was not aware yeah, of that. No, there is. I remember people were talking about it, where it was safe to have sex with animals, and where if it's a uh, if it's illegal for them to possess it, if it's legal for them, like where my my server is stored, obviously the state that it's hosted in, uh, it's legal to to possess and distribute uh, zoophilia, because otherwise my server would be fucking possessed by now by the state. There's no federal law against fucking animals. Um, so yeah, there's there's room. In, in, is that are you plugging West Virginia? For the, <laughs> <laughs> makes sense no, a lot of in West Virginia. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna have to fucking uh, quarantine West Virginia. There's just so much like uh, unknown STDs that people caught from fucking horses. Oh, I damn, this, this shit is <laughs> this shit is crazy. Uh, this is so this is bizarro land. Well, one thing I can say is it's gonna give us content for a long time. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Jim. Like ten Internet Insanity videos right here, right now. No, I'm not kidding, Ralph. If you do that, I'm kill stream shit. I will watch that shit religiously. That'd be fucking serious. entertaining as hell. I think that's one. I think 
I think V V, you can do this, my man. You can. You, I think you that'll had pan to, out. You are, you are punished, V. You had to leave your community. You're probably in that shit for 15 years. And Antifa, they pushed you out, man. This is your chance. You're gonna. I, you're I, can, gonna, I can find you people on the inside that go to these conventions. <laughs> yeah. All you need to do is <laughs> kick in the door, do and the whole rotten structure will come crashing down. I think it'll pan out a lot better than Corinne and Compton, at least. Let's put it that way. Well, when I was uh, in the community, the only case of bestiality that we heard about it back then was this guy who used to come in the chat with us suddenly went missing. And then people found him in the papers. So apparently what happened is that he went into the barn, got a bull to fuck him up the ass. But apparently like bulls, as I have found out, have this bone, like this actual bone in their dick. So it ended up giving the guy internal hemorrhage and he ended up being in critical uh, unit at the hospital. He never came back to the chat. But that was like the only case of bestiality <laughs> <laughs> that I have heard about when I was in the furry fan. What did I just listen to? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. But I don't know if he didn't come back to the chat because of his internal shame or because the doctors couldn't bring him back. No, probably the shame. Unless it was horse stick, that guy unfortunately walked into that operating room or the emergency room uh, with a with a sore butthole and an injured sense of pride. I'm curious, how do you explain us. that shit? Like, how how do you you know call nine one one and tell them what happened? No, Mister Hands didn't explain it to anybody. <laughs> he got fucked unconscious. It, they it ripped his fucking organs apart. So they they scooped him up, bleeding out his asshole, and literally just dropped him at the ER door and left him there. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, you never know what's going to happen on the kill stream. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, well, I'm going to go said, drink I'm about uh, to... some fucking bleach. Thanks, boys. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you all yeah. very much. Yeah, I'm, about to, I'm about to wrap it. Um, oh, God.